Right, we're live. We're live again. <laughs> Are we in? Oh, yeah, that's got us. Are we all in? Yeah. Yep. There we go. Oh, what a schoolboy error! <laughs> right, there's no one there right now, so we'll have to um, wait a few minutes. Seven. It's saying it's not ended this one. 70, or oh, 21. Yeah, so you, sorry folks, um, technical issues for Darren. <laughs> hey! <laughs> it was the screen. Let's put our... The, uh, the auto thing weren't on. The lock oh, weren't on. The lock wasn't on. No. There you go. So let's put us on the telly so we can see your comments. On telly. On telly. Right. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. That was a bit... Uh, all right, we've got 80 people there now. Hey. <laughs> They're all back. I know, we've got 105 Yay. fans still on the other channel. What? Well, there's more on the, the other one. Yeah, it's still showing 145 on the chat still. Really? Really? I don't know what we can do about that. No, go, that, that's... Go on to gone. the other one. It's gone. It's gone. All yeah, right, it's okay. it's gone. So, yeah, they're over there. I reckon it's still there. Two, <laughs> oh, it's finished now. Finished. Right, we are here. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> That was a bit of a hairy moment. Yeah. Well, that's what you get. How are we all doing? And it's a bit crazy that he doesn't recognise the orientation yeah. and just do it the right way. And yeah. two seconds before that, I forgot my tablet across the across at the other one. Yeah, so he's got to leg it over to me <laughs> yeah. back again. So I'm going to dip in for some of this cheese because we've yeah. got some... Um, Tashi's on. Do you want to explain oh, what it is? So this is Aldi cheese. This and is it's Aldi's one that you bake. melting pot that you bake and it's got um, chorizo chur 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 bits in it. <laughs> <laughs> you spell stuff on me already. <laughs> stuff down me already. Mm. Life beyond bricks. Oi, oi. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> um, Darren, you're sacked. <laughs> <laughs> so for our cheese selection tonight, we've yep. got West Country Vintage Cheddar. We've got, oh, do this. Sorry, Dad's fingers. Oh, um, that's all right. A nice Cambazola. We've got um, the Cheddar Gorge Cheese Company, which is the only cheese produced in cheddar. It's vintage. We've got extra mature cheddar. We've got another extra mature cheddar. Oh, that's amazing. We've got and that, which is amazing. We've got Manchego cheese. Yeah. And we've got Wednesday with cranberries, which I've hidden at the back that's... because the boys don't like fruit near their cheese. <laughs> so apart from that, it's... Um... And then we've got things like chorizo. And we've got different crackers. Yeah, we've got lots crackers. of chorizo, haven't we, man? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we've got lots of chorizo, haven't we? <laughs> Some of it's mine, and they're going to start stealing it. And I've got a nice glass of white to go with my cheese. Yeah, and for, for everybody else that's uh, wondering what's in my secret flask tonight, uh, that is Gentleman's JD and Coke. I've got a nice red. And I was going to put a shirt. Oh, I forgot I was going to put a shirt on as well for cheese night. Oh. I can't believe that. It'd be lucky if I knew what ironed in this van, I tell you. Yeah, someone asked that today, actually. <laughs> How do you weigh in your clothes in your van? <laughs> I haven't ironed for years. You don't no, iron. Not you don't all. iron. Uh, what have we got going on then on the chat? No, no, char no charcoal cheese today. No. No. I'm going to say something about a focus issue. I see Paul, Wendell and Cranberries is the best. I need to get... Wendy down? No, no. Wendy Dale and Cranberries. Let's go and clean the camera just in case. Right, so... Excuse me a second. <laughs> How about you, everyone? I, I look fabulous. Yeah. yeah, you look fabulous. But Ma <laughs> yeah. Mandy had a thumbprint over her. Oh, really? Mmm, <laughs> yeah. that's nice. Hello, Urban mm. Gadgets, mm. Sue and Paul. Mm. Oh. Hi, Sue and Paul Brown. Hi, Sue and Paul. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Um, um, excuse <laughs> me, Bruce. No rock fort today, no. No. Um, but if you do want to comment what you're eating right now, because obviously this is yeah. a... Uh, a cheese night for all it's not just for us mm. so please let us know what it is that you've got in front of you and what cheese you're enjoying everyone's saying it's much better so these guys are the, the, with the camera handle it's a meter apart mm. which is fine so yeah. with the social distancing, social distancing thing, yeah. one meter plus bruce yeah. Oh, real cheese night. Not just that, not jokes, Darren. Mm. <laughs> real cheese night. Real cheese. No, not just cheesy jokes. <laughs> oh, someone's eating a kebab. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I want... A baby bell. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, laughing Pat cow. It's Patrick. getting milder and milder. Patrick from, says hi from Belgium. Oh, hi, Patrick. 
satay noodles and Korean pork skewers. Oh, they sound nice, actually. That's one. Oh, yeah, please. Thank you very much. Well, this is a mix. What's in this again? Is this the cheese, cheese and chorizo? Cheese and chorizo, yeah. mm. It's good stuff. More cheese, grommet. <laughs> <laughs> is there any smelly stuff there? Oh, fish, chips and mushy peas on Monday. Mm. I had that for lunch. I had that for my lunch today. Yes. Sat on the seafront. Mm. I don't with, agree with the mushy peas. With the um, massive big outdoor seating area where this chippy was. And there were four tables and chairs, weren't they, outside this massive, but it probably would have had maybe, I don't know, maybe 20 tables and chairs in front of it normally. Mm. So, yeah, they're doing the bit. And we had to leave our uh, name and telephone number when we ordered and whatnot, so it's good stuff. Oh, that vintage cheese is... Oh, we need Black Bomber from Steve. Oh, no. We had Black Bomber last time. Mm. And, and that, that, that literally blew our heads off. Yeah, mm. that, that gave me a sweat on, did the Black Bomber last time. This, so this vintage cheese. Oh, which one? The cheddar. Mm. Oh, okay. I'll go for that next. Oh, San Miguel and cheese pasty. That's fair enough. Oh mm, yeah. Oh, this is amazing. I think the smelliest cheese we've got tonight is the Cambozola. Um, and I've left that. I've left that sitting out for a few hours. We um, excuse me, trying to cheese night without me talking and eating <laughs> at the same time. It's terrible. Um. We had to walk out into um, into the local town before. It was like half an hour to get in there. So we go in there, lovely little walk. As soon as we got to come back, the heavens opened. We mm. were all absolutely saturated when we got back. And it's not stopped since. <laughs> and it's not stopped at all. So it's... Um, Pooper was drowned. Yep. Like a drowned yeah. Oh, he was. Bless him. He had to go in his dry bag for a bit because he was so wet. <laughs> um, yeah, so since then, we've had me... Um, the camera's all right, hoping to get a bit more blue cheese out of it. Uh, <laughs> someone's asked if Edale is on or has it been cancelled. Edale was early last year, wasn't it? So I'd imagine it's probably mm. been cancelled. I think so, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the news as well. Quirky's been cancelled. Yeah. Uh, the NEC NEC's been NEC rescheduled. show's been rescheduled. To the same time next year, isn't it? Yeah. So no. it's, not, it's not looking great right now. So Paul Brown said we need some Porto Port. Port would have been perfect to go with all of this cheese. I'm not convinced. Although Kev Jones reckons glass port as well. Mm. See, Marmite crackers. Oh, mm. oh, I'm not sure about that. Oh no. What pickles have you got on with your cheese? This was an interesting one because mm. we were talking the other day with the stereotypical 80s buffet that people put on where you'd have like cheese and pickle, cheese and cucumber and cheese all that and kind pineapple. of stuff. Cheese and pineapple. Cheese and pineapple and that, yeah. Yeah, I don't agree with that either. No. Nope. What, pineapple? I've, oh. just, I've just chopped a full pineapple actually. I should have brought it out with me. Shouldn't I have to oh, eat some no, more? No, 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 oh, no, Bob no. Earnshaw's on. Nice to see you, Bob. Did you Hi, bring Bob. your crackers? Yeah, where are these posh crackers, Bob? Yeah. Mature cheddar, but on the top of a half pound burger. Oh. No. <laughs> Five cheese pizza. That's close enough. <laughs> that that'll yeah, that'll do. That'll John, do John's nicely. double dipping. We had an agreement. No, I'm not. He I'll, turned the bread round. Yeah, I'll turn it round. So I dip in the side I've not eaten from. And so the agreement is, you get your bread, mm. you dip, you bite, you spin it round, you get the other end, you dip, you bite. Yeah. That's the agreement. So. We have no idea about the Overland camping show in September. I'm going to guess, if everyone else is cancelling, that a lot of these shows are going to cancel. Um, which is a bit of a shame, really, because we've been out today, obviously, Great Yarmouth, Seaside Town Resort and everything like that. Yeah everybody's out there and the people that are wearing masks are few and far between i'm talking like you know you might spot two people in every two or three hundred that are wearing masks mm -hmm. yeah there's not many wearing masks at all is there however everybody's keeping a fair bit of social distance from each other yeah uh, and the restaurants and shops and everything they're well set up for it yeah i so. went in the amusement arcade today yeah. and there was a one-way system um going around there so you had to go around a one-way system to do what you were doing, there's social distancing and tape on everywhere, and literally every single machine, even including the change to get your two peas, had um, antibacterial hand gel on it. So when I came out, my hand smelled mm. like antiseptic copper. So, oh. um, yeah. Yes. Got a super chat. Oh. Jack Westcott. Mm. A super chat. Thank you very much, Jack. 
Amazing to see how far you've come. Well, thank you very much. Oh. Yeah, great Yarmouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Bruce said, um, Bruce said, are you missing Wimbledon? Uh, I think it's because of your T-shirt. Uh, <laughs> you know what, though? Funny enough, out of all sports, I probably like, I actually like playing tennis. Hmm? Yeah, I can have a good rally. Have a good rally. That's my kind of rally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'm pretty, pretty good at uh, tennis. Hmm? Yeah. And weirdly, I'm all not too bad on a trampoline. Oh, okay. All oh, the quality's jumped up a bit. Uh, oh, Sue, Sue Trivet says, uh, cheese and pineapple hedgehog. I used to love making yes. them oh, when I was a kid. Yes, You get absolutely. like half a cabbage or something and wrap it in foil and then or, stick all the... Or a big those... spud. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but you cover it in foil so yeah. you don't see the spud. Yeah. yeah, and then make it into and it a would hedgehog. All, always, that would be always at every, like... Wedding, mm. party, funeral, everything, every gathering. Yeah. You'd have them in the little mini sausages on sticks and everything. Also so. with um, uh, silver skin onions. Oh, yes. Oh, right. Cheese yes. And, uh, on a cocktail stick. Oh, cheese Always. and pickle onions. We have to do a shout out, everybody. Okay. So I have to say hi to Harry. Harry Taylor. Hi, Harry working. Taylor. Hi, hi, Harry. Harry. How you doing, right. buddy? Your stickers are coming soon. And everybody else who's ordered stickers... They will be sent out. We do them in a batch oh. every two weeks, so we'll send them out. Yeah, so I need to say something about stickers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, jo yeah. Don't forget. Daz, I'm do just reminding you now. <laughs> yeah, Tell yeah, about yeah, stickers. Yeah, I asked these blocks to remind me about stickers. I've had a lot of orders lately, and um, which I'm really grateful for. And they're all going to go out, but <laughs> I've temporarily run out of the That's What She Said stickers. So I'm going to hold the orders until their ones are back in. They shouldn't be too long, and I'll pick them back up when I'm down near work in a couple of days. And then I'll get them all set out. But they all will go out. If anyone uh, wants to know anything more, then just drop me an email. But yeah, I've run out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, dear. No, no. Mm. Uh, Bob says he always has cheese and pickle pickled walnuts. I don't think I've ever had a pickled wow. walnut before. A pickled walnut? You know, someone's asking for another shout out for Paul Wesley. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. What cheese are you eating, Paul? Mm. See, th this is this is our our tea, or if you're Darren, yeah, this is our dinner. Dinner. But we had dinner at lunchtime. Yeah, let's today. not start that fight. We have dinner in the middle of the day because we had the chicken. <laughs> let's not even go there. So today for tea, we're having cheese and crackers. So, <laughs> shut up, Tash. <laughs> <laughs> it's tea. <laughs> right. Sorry to interject. Right now on the on the uh, comments, is it dinner time right now yep. or tea time right now? Dan says tea. AJ says tea. It's dinner. Oh, or a tea. new one we've learned. Is it? See, that's what you call dinner. There they go. Jack's van life. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Nope. Roll the middle options. Tea, 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 tea. Dinner, tea, dinner, tea, 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 dinner, tea, dinner, tea, tea, <laughs> dinner. Oh, <laughs> we've got the whip on there. Supper time, you see. <laughs> Come on, summoners, dinner! Tea, 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 tea. tea. Do you know, how, do you know how many people we're at? Well, we're at 390 people. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hi, everyone. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Look, they're going crazy. <laughs> supper? Apparently, if it's after <sighs> seven, it's supper. Oh. The, Which, the comments are going crazy with dinner, tea, dinner, tea. <laughs> <laughs> and then someone just went, Batman. Yeah, Mel's van world. Dinner, 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 dinner. Oh, hang on, chuck in a box of dinner. You couldn't get further north. Well, there you go. Obviously, in Scotland, they don't have dinner ladies at school. Yeah, your only So, anyone who said they've got that it's dinner, who looked after you at lunchtime? Yeah, what were the people? Lunch ladies. There's a program on telly about it called. Dinner ladies. dinner ladies, yeah. <laughs> ah, dear. <laughs> In Welland Garden City, you call it dinner. I know, but that's down south, though. We're after, like, a Midlands. So, everyone, in the, everyone in the Midlands, what do you call it? Sue and Paul Brown, what do you call it? Greg. So, Van Staff is on. Hi, guys, how you doing? Is Give Greg your dog on? a Yeah, Greg's on. He says tea is something you have in the afternoon. Yeah, afternoon teas, you see. No, yeah. no, hang on. Yeah. You're so you, you're, you're contradicting no, yourself no, there. because five o'clock's in the afternoon. <laughs> it's not in the evening. No, an afternoon tea would be 
As in tea and cakes. Well, yeah, that's what I'm at five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have tea and cake any time of the day. So would I. The lunch ladies like beyond bricks. Yes. They were never lunch ladies. Dinner ladies all the time. At the Ritz. What was the, the menu? is called the dinner menu. Oh! Yeah, but is the Ritz serving dinner at midday? Or is the Ritz serving dinner after sort of 5, 6 p.m.? Daz, have you had any of this Cambozola? Not yet. Oh. Is it good? Yeah. Ah, there we go. Someone's Urban Adventures. After seven is eating rubbish time. That's it. Snacks time. Yes, yeah, snacks. Or cheese. Mandy, I bet you should clean the crumbs up. See, we've got a really good thing going on when we go away with Daz. Because Daz has got a good eye for buying food. So he'll buy some food. And obviously, he, he knows how to cook very well. John's very good with ideas. And he comes up with all the ideas of what we're to do. Yeah, so this whole thing was my idea. <laughs> so then... What normally happens is that they'll be having a chat and Dad's be like, I'll cook one thing. So we'll cook one thing in his van and then I'll cook something in here. And between us all, we'll just have this table full of incredibly good food. Yeah. Works well. Mm. Even if I have to clean up the... Even if I choose to clean up the crumbs, because either one of these do. Tim do. Timoney, we are interrupting your supper. Maybe. Jock says, tea is something you drink. <laughs> that is also very true. That is amazing. Now, cool, oh, that it? is good. Oh, I need one of these to myself. <laughs> I've got another one. Yeah, this is John's. This is John's choice in cheese. <laughs> Rib him now. So Daz and I will eat all of this honking stuff, this beautiful stuff, and Daz and John sits with his dippy cheese and might have some mature cheddar later. Yeah, put some cheddar on digestives. I don't mind cheese and digestives. There's someone said, surely the dog cleans up. We have a dog with the constitution yeah. of a very poorly child. <laughs> Dad <laughs> wants bacon. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Where's your bacon a go with cheese? It would. It, it would. really would. I've got ham. Is that close enough? Well, I'm having chorizo. Andy, where do you put the smoky bag? Where do you buy the smoky? The um, the piggy one. The the uh, normal Heinz smoky barbecue sauce was at every supermarket. The bacon flavoured bar barbecue sauce is Aldi only. It's only a quid something for the bottle and it is the best barbecue sauce we've ever had. And yeah, it's vegan. Wondrous. For those that go that way. Bacon, but also for my daughter melted. because she will bacon love it. Yeah. Cheese is God. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got grilled halloumi. Oh, we've uh, missed a boat with halloumi. Could have got halloumi fries from Aldi. I've got halloumi in the thing. Why didn't you do them? Not fries, but a block of it. Dan, hang your head in shame. <laughs> beer cheese sauce? No, no beer cheese sauce yet. Not tonight. We, we thought we'd go for this one instead of mm. the, the beer cheese sauce. We had that the other day, didn't we? Yes, we did. We have mm. loads of Doritos. That's the point. Oh, we don't need them yet, do we? Cheese on toast. If you're having cheese on toast, um, what do we... It's, um, is it? like, it's like, what do, we have, what do we have on cheese on toast? Yeah. No is, it, is it daddy's or HP? It's uh, daddy's sauce. D daddy's sauce. And you kind of smother it in when you're grilling your cheese. As the cheese is melted on top, yeah. It's, um, it's oh yes. It's good. good. Or a bit of Worcestershire sauce. Liam Herrings. See, that doesn't agree with you, does it, Bob? No. John's got Other the same brands are available. John's got the, <laughs> John's got the same constitution as Cooper, unfortunately. Mm. Like E.T. and Elliot. Oh wow, that is stonking, man. Yeah, it is it? Mmm. But if everybody likes a cheese that gives you a, a sweat on your top lip, then the Cheddar Gorge Cheese Company Vintage Cheese will do that for you. And you know what? You can actually go down there and actually see the cheese wheels in the cave. Oh, really? At Wookie Hole. Oh, yeah, oh, we've been there. It's yeah. the best name ever, man. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> you go to Wookie Hole, it's brilliant. <laughs> and they've got loads of different cheeses. And you can go in there and you can try them, and they are oh, brilliant. Mm. Yeah, brilliant. Is that a nice on sure number, is it, sir? Oh, yeah. Oh, I keep forgetting to buy sour, sour cream. Yeah, sour cream. Salad cream. Sue and Paul Brown. Or, I, mean, I should say Sue. I don't uh, know if Paul does it. I've awesome. seen him do it. Brie, cheddar and borsan. I like borsan on bread. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. I, I like brie, which is why I like cambazola, because it's, it's 
blueberry. Blueberry. Blue. That's that's it's blue camembert, isn't it? Because that's where the cam comes from. But yeah. yeah. I knew that. Right, what we got here? Mm -mm. Mm. If anyone has got any questions, we'll slowly get through some. Yeah. There don't seem to be many questions, just everyone agreeing wholeheartedly with us or disagreeing with <laughs> the fact yeah. that we're eating tea. Cheese what? and cider tested in Somerset. We're on it. What's the big block of cheese purple in the purple wrapper next to Dazzy's non-alcoholic Pepsi, cherry Pepsi? It's just a, a block from Aldi. Yep, extra mature. We're all, we don't have any immature things in here. It's enough <laughs> with, I've got enough with Daz and John. <laughs> Bit of chorizo wouldn't go amiss. It's there. It's there. Mm. We got it. And pepperoni. So for those of you who think, you know, what's John eating? John's eating dippy cheese. <laughs> it's a whole work of art going on. Yeah. And then I get a slice of <laughs> chorizo. <laughs> and then a... <laughs> Down the hole. Mm. Uh... Oh, Compt. Compt uh, Jake595 just said try Compt cheese. Compt is beautiful, and I get a. There's a really nice one, a 30 month old Compt at uh, Borough Market. Um, I don't, it's just a stall, and that has got some proper crystals in it. Woo! Someone said about Stilton on um, on steak there. Yeah, as much cheese and as as much stonking <laughs> cheese as you can fit on the top of a steak is yeah. absolutely. And you'll eat that. Oh yeah. yeah. A blue cheese. Um, no, not Stilton, but stonking cheese. As long as it's not blue, because it kind of doesn't agree with me entirely. Tiny little story. We, um, when Facebook first started taking off, John decided that he was going to try and find how many other people with his name that he could find in the world. So he went and I did them all as friends. Then one of the guys that we'd found who had the same birthday as John. Was, did the same job as well. Did the same job, um, but lived in South Africa and we got chatting with him. Mm. Then he comes over to, to uh, work. Um, and we go down and meet him in London, have the most amazing weekend in London doing proper touristy things. And then we went to this absolutely stonking steak restaurant on South Bank. And we go there and he's like, what do you want for steak? And he goes, I'll have this steak. He chooses a nice South African Malbec for us to have with it. That this week's and then mm. sits there and says, um, uh, sits there and says, they said, do you want to like a sauce with it? And he goes, he goes, can I have cheese with it? Well, yeah. What kind of cheese do you want? It says every cheese. All the cheese. And he came out with eight <laughs> different cheeses on the steak. The steak was like that, and then the cheese was like that on top, all melted in. And we just sat there and watched him and like, oh, that's It was that the first steak. time we'd ever seen anything like yeah. that. Yeah, eight different cheeses just lined on this massive steak. It was wonderful. That's exactly what you want. Because cheese makes everything better, I think. The aroma is amazing. Yes, it is. <laughs> Especially, well, I was going to say a uh, spicy cheese aroma, but I guess that's because I'm eating mm. that and I've just eaten that. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One man in his whip it. It's like a public health information film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see, Dave, last time we, we saw you guys when we met you at that house you renting, the first thing that. Um, that Joe did was bring out a massive cheese fest. Mm. That's what we do. Cheese. So we'd have a, chise of, a side of cheesy balls. Chunky prepper, hi mate. How are ya? I missed a question before. I've lost it again now. Stonking. Oh, that's that what she it. said. Cheese on gammon, John. Says um, uh, Mystic Hair. Um, never tried cheese on gammon, but now you've just said it. I'm thinking, <laughs> why the heck haven't I? Yeah, why have you not tried that? That's one of the best things you can do is put cheese on bacon, on bacon sandwiches. That's epic. So yeah, that's mm. going to be the next thing to try then. Posh Cats is on. Yep. Oh, it's Trev on. Trev from Posh Cats is on. All right, Trev. How are you? At... How can you enjoy eating <laughs> with all the comments? Um, well, we're kind of nice. taking it in turns a little bit, yeah. so yeah, it's not too bad. Plus, it's cheese. You don't want to just ram it down your face. Well, you do. <laughs> yeah, oh. you do. <laughs> you're trying not to ram it down our faces. Uh, Plus, if I must say so, we've got some lovely subscribers, and hopefully they will all understand that if they come on to us a, a live cheese night, that we're going to be eating cheese. Mm. Someone said about social distancing. The camera angle's a bit odd on this one. 
So just a reference, that's Mandy, that's Daz. Yeah. So it's the same, it's just that the camera angle's a bit different. So we're all right with that one. You're making me hungry. Sorry about that one. The, the kind of clue really is in the title <laughs> of the video though. <laughs> Still on a large breakfast oh. mushrooms. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely get yourself, my favorite, Get yourself a big mushroom, get some cheese and bacon, give it to Mandy and she'll do things with it. <laughs> and then you get a mushroom <laughs> with cheese and bacon in it. And I'm like, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> What's a mm. pirate's favorite cheese? Cheddar. Cheddar. <laughs> and yes, I'm, I am wearing a, a onesie, just if anybody was worried about that. What is my I did get favorite soaked before. Yes, we all got soaked, didn't mm. we? Yeah. What is my favourite cheese? That would be camembert. But this is a close second, actually. If I had one of those to myself, that might be more of like it. Mm. Should we address that? Yeah. yeah. It's all good. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> Darren, you'll get noticed in that top. Yeah. When it's actually sun shining, I've got this top and, a, and another top, and the flies, they and love the bugs, you, don't they? they think I'm a flower. I'm delicate. Oh, bless you. I'm not precious, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's John. <laughs> That's John. <laughs> Does any of you get cheese headaches or migraines, or is that a myth? No, I'm, I'm all right with that. I'll just, I'll just get full to a point. I used to have migraines when I was a kid. I couldn't eat any mature cheddar cheese of any kind. Oh, really? It was literally mild cheddar. That's all I could eat. And I had to go and have, I had to go through all the things where I had to keep a diary for, for ages. And then, um, well, we were married by the time it stopped. I was probably about 22. Yeah. When by the time I could start eating cheese. And I'm still, make, excuse me, I'm still making up for it now. Yeah. <laughs> um, Black Bummer um, mm -hmm. is a good cheese. Yeah. The last time we did this, which was strange enough, um, it was the day we'd, it was the day after we picked up the van. Yeah? Yeah, and so, that was when we were last on the campsite, wasn't it? Yeah, it was yeah. last on the campsite, which was obviously before everything shut down. So this is why we're doing all this again, to act like the three months is just, we'll put that behind us and we'll carry on now. Carefully. Um, carefully, yeah, obviously. So yes, um, Black Bomb and Cheese, love it. Yeah, Black Bomb will burn, uh, take the skin of the roof of your mouth off. Yeah. Yeah, which was that cheese that we tried last time where it literally did that? It literally sucked the moisture out of your brain. That must have, must have been the Black Bomber, that, mustn't it? Was it the Black Bomber or was it... Um... Oh, was it the charcoal one? No, no it wasn't the charcoal, charcoal one. Was that. I mean, there no, was, was a, there was a crunch. Cheese, uh... Oh, the Cheddar Crunch was good. Cheddar yes. Crunch, Cheddar Crunch, and that was from that company as well. Oh, right, yeah, that was good. Then there was that one that was in the black... Um, <laughs> we know too much about The, the black wax that was the really big, thick black yes. wax. Yeah. Uh, someone's asked, where are we from? Um, originally from Manchester. Yes. Arse Watford. Up north. Yeah, up north as they say. Yeah, as some people A might place say. where there was no Savaloys, but... No. Today... Mm. We tried our yeah. first Savaloy, uh, finally. I have put today. my Savaloy cherry today. <laughs> <laughs> and all I can say is, it's like a very meaty Frankfurter. <laughs> Rich is on. All right. Hi, Rich. It's like if, if a restaurant had an eat you eat all you like special offer, what <laughs> food would they have to advertise for them to definitely lose out if you're a customer? Food, Bruce. Just, <laughs> just food. We just you, eat everything. Do you prefer the leather seats of the new van or the fabric ones in the old van? Which are comfier? I prefer the fabric ones. Right. Um, I would say Mandy's quite accident prone and already we're actually really glad that we had the leather. Because it does clean up well. <laughs> Do you agree? <laughs> I'll put her on the spot a bit again, I guess. Um, Comfort-wise, these seats are comfier than the last seats, but that yeah, was down to nice. design. The last seats weren't very well designed for people to sit on. They were just like, meh. Mine are just like that. Yeah. They're just, yeah. That's a chutney. <laughs> but um, I've just seen a question in there. Um, I'm currently not on keto for a week or two because I'm on holiday. So I thought I'd have a couple of weeks off. And then enjoy all of this. And fish and chips. Oh, yeah. And we've got another little odd question. I don't understand it. Maybe you to do. What is your favourite suit of armour? <laughs> <laughs> chainmail? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't like know. chainmail. 
I don't know what you mean. Why is orange jam called marmalade? Rich, he loves that <laughs> question. He loves that question. Because they said so. <laughs> who's, who's the boss in the relationship? That's obvious, isn't it? Darren. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn. No. no. Mandy, how do you cook cheese on toast in your motorhome? I have a toaster. Burstner thought to call it an oven, <laughs> but it's not. Yeah. Um, so I had a, it is, it is now a toaster. So I can get, I can get three slices Whoa. under there at once. So, so yeah. Someone's asked, when's our next route and where is it going to be? Um, from, at the moment we're in Norfolk, Suffolk, East Anglia kind of way. Well, Great Yarmouth, you know, we said. And from here, we're going around this area a little bit more till the end of the week. Daz yep. is going back to work. We're going to shoot across the middle of England, um, probably pick up uh, Mid Wales, Snowdonia, back into Wales, stand outside my parents' house and talk to them through the window, just so I can make sure they're all right and um, pick up posts and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, from there, back over to Manchester to see our daughter, grandson, and have a couple of days around there. From there, we're going down to... Um, I know we're going up from there, aren't we? We're going up to Yorkshire or somewhere around there. From there, we're going down to Cambridge. And from Cambridge, we're probably going into mainland Europe again. Mm -hmm. uh, to France, possibly Spain. We'll see how it goes with that one. Um, and seems though most of the shows are all cancelled this year. Obviously, we're just going to leave our plans open and see where we end up, really. Mm -hmm. So, there's a fair bit of travelling on, yeah. on the cards. Listen to this. As a kid, I used to have cheese and golden syrup sandwiches. Wow. Oh, actually, cheese oh, I bet that was. Syrup. I've had cheese and honey. Remember when we went? I bet that is something happy. When we were in Portugal, they did like, um, like we looked like Manchego cheese. Mm. Um, and they had that with honey on it on a plate, and yeah. it was just because oh. you got the nice savoury with a little bit of sweet. Yeah. Just. And yeah. the, and that manchego, if you've had the manchego yet, Dad. But yeah, like that manchego is amazing. Salty. Oh no, I've got I've got chutney on your cheese, Dad. Oh sorry. I'll eat that a bit later. Right. Right. Hang on. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, it's mine now. It's my jizz. Uh, I'm starting van life with my dog. Any pet accessories you can recommend? A dry bag. Mm. Yeah. I don't even have a dog and definitely need that. Let me go show it you. Although I'll have to hold it near food, which might not be a good I idea. I was saying on the way back, you've, you've definitely got a wet dog in your van now. You've got a wet dog in your van. So, this is a dry bag. It's a towel. It's got a little hole in it for Coop. And it's got a big zip down the back. So you zip it open, sit Coop in it, zip it up across his back. And then the worst thing is you've got to get him to keep still until he's dry and he's a nana so he keeps walking and, and face planting the floor um but that stops sand and water and everything from getting out and about and once they get used to it it's dead easy to um just pop him in it he gets in it himself now and i just zip him up but yes that is a brilliant thing uh chunky what's going on in cambridge anything decent um Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've driven through, but never been. So. Um, are we going to South Wales? No, we're probably coming round about Mid Wales because we've got to nip over to um, Shropshire kind of way. So we've probably come over Shropshire, then Snowdonia, then going up to North Wales. So um, uh, we do want to spend a lot of time around St David's and go up to Pembrokeshire, but that'll be another time really. Dad, you need another supermarket park up, mate. Yep. Well, I'm on the holiday now, so um, I haven't really got many much time off planned after this. So I will be, you know, one night off, two nights off at a time. That'll be it from now on. Um, maybe towards until the end of the year. So I think I'm going to then, because my work uh, holiday ends in September. Yeah. But ends in August. And then yes, not the April. Again. It's uh, not the right. April, April business year, it's the August. Um so it starts again then. But I will be so I'm only going to have one, two nights off a, a week. So I will be doing some more more yeah, park right. ups and that. Yeah, got, cool. got them coming. Got them coming. Wally Codderum. Hi Jane and Graham. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. 
I've had a Savile Jane. <laughs> Someone's asked, have you ever been to Brighton? Pop into Brighton. Yes, we went to Brighton. When we picked up the van originally, which is obviously like four months ago now, yeah. uh, we went all the way across the on very the, south the coast, coast yeah. and everything. So you've been to Brighton quite like that. Oh, um, someone's asked how we met. Did we, we answer that one? Uh, we've how answered it in a video. Oh, how all three of us met. Um, what, what was it? It was Camp Gadget, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Camp Gadget. I organised a, a camp meetup, and um, first one I'd ever been to. Basically, it, the idea behind it was you know invite people you like off YouTube or whatever, and I'd watch Darren's tour video, and there was another video he did. Something like getting water from somewhere yep. or something like that one. Um, and I just thought, you know, he seems a proper down-to-earth guy, so he'd like the rest of us. And that was that. I invited a few other people along as well. So it's on a list of videos if you go and watch it on our channel it's uh, and yours. You've mm. both done a video of it, so Camp Gadget. Yep. And um, uh, Julie Coop's asleep on the bed. It was a big walk for him today. So, um, so he's napping. And we'll be napping until we go to bed and then he'll nap some more, no doubt. Uh, and yes, we're on a campsite. Like I say, we want to kind of like um, finish off our last trip that was cut short. So yes, we're on a campsite right now. Yeah. I just see uh, Bob Earnshaw's in. Yep. All right, Bob. Good to see you in the, in the comments. It's like having your granny with us, isn't it? I know. We yeah. did Bob before, you know. Yeah, we said I did. Oh, even right. even what, is, it, is it Ethel or something? Ethel, yeah, my granny. All right, all right. <laughs> How was Sandringham? Really nice round there, actually. I really liked it. It's another place to go back yeah. to. Great little park ups overnights and stuff like that. And if you don't know, if you um, if you don't follow us all on Instagram, you should, um, because I did a cheeky little. Uh, well, we went through Thetford because I wanted to go and stand outside yeah. the Thetford sign. That was funny. With a Thetford cassette. It was An empty. Empty. One. It was empty. It's our spare cassette, so it's. It's not been used, I think it's been used once, it's thoroughly cleaned out, so I wasn't carrying I should have my photo, I wouldn't have been near that. <laughs> what are you saying about yeah. my my poo does? About his. <laughs> I'm a sh I, I would guess yours are roses, man. But Absolutely. John's, I'm not going to go no. near that. No. <laughs> have we ever been to Shell Island? No, heard lots about it. Mm. It's um, a beach on the coast in Wales, £10 a night, I think it is, something like that. I've uh, never been yet, but yeah, it's on the list to get there. Go see it. Listen to this, man. Bacon, brie, and mango chutney on toast. Oh! <laughs> I know you like mango oh, chutney, so yeah. you're, you're going to be on that. But you know, uh, uh, Chunky Prepper, he, he's only 15 miles from Cambridge, so All right. you might yeah. want to drop him a line on Instagram. Go, yeah. He might know a few places to uh, trying, have a look around. To answer a few questions. No, they're not father and son. No, they're not brothers. <laughs> No, they're not related to Matt, Matt Lucas, and that's enough of that cheeky stuff. Um, well, no, they're not saying any comments off, off any telly, so we're going to be nice. Yeah. Um, the only comments we say is that was, that's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we've, uh, we're thinking about uh, bringing new stickers out. Um, I <laughs> love my life. And where's Cooper? Because we need a Cooper sticker. Because everyone's always asking us where Cooper yeah. is, so, so we figured we'll get, a, we'll get a... <laughs> Father and son and chunky. <laughs> oh, baby. Someone's asked, would you not prefer tramping with your job? Save wear and tear on your own motorhome all week. That's me. Uh, tramping. What is tramping? Sleeping. Tramping is uh, so you start probably on a Sunday night mm. and you take the lorry and then you come back Thursday. Oh. You're out on the truck for four or five nights. Oh, sleep, okay. sleep in the back. I mean, and you've you got a, yeah. a good setup in the truck normally, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's an alright truck, and there is a bed in there. There's night heaters. There's uh, in some of ours, I've got fridges, um, which really do get cut. They're massive. Mm. The fridge goes all the way back. Mm. Really, uh, quite pretty cool. Um, but to be honest, I just don't think there's really the money in it. Um, do you not get any extra for doing that or you do get night out money it depends what firm you're with you do get night out i mean my firm doesn't really do night outs unless you are stuck out right then you do get compensated to be stuck out but again it goes with the way this country's set up with no airs mm. and how it kind of not blatantly disrespect it does really disrespect motorhomes and and camper vans in this country doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. The, the whole setup is disrespectful to motorhomes and camper vans yeah and 
it's kind of the way with trucks as well. Mm. You've got to try and find parking every night mm. to sleep for nine to eleven hours. Now, if you go to Cobham at eleven, twelve o'clock at night, you go past the Cobham services on the M25. It is stacked, mm. rammed, full. And there's a lot of parking there. And there's, right? you, you know the actual car park for cars. Mm. That's stacked with lorries. Really. At night. Because there is and nowhere. They're down the slip road as well, aren't they? Yeah, they're all down the slip road. They're all off the slip road. They're on on the opposite side on the slip road and all around under the underpass on the slip road. Um, because there isn't places to park. Mm. There really is limited parking for lorries, and there's that many lorries on the road. They're all looking for a place. Yeah. You know, it's yeah, it's, it's quite a tough job. And yeah, I mean, I could could save wear and tear, but then I've got to park it up, haven't I? So it's not getting actual much use. Mm. Mm. So you get the weekends. Yeah, you get the weekends. Yeah. So no, I'm not really uh, thought about doing uh, tramping. tramping. To be fair, no, right. no. Someone's asked, "Will you do another camp gadget?" And we did kind of think about this, but I think it's difficult organising a a meet up on a campsite. Yeah. For legal reasons and all that, you can't. You know, I might find the biggest campsite out there and say, "Book now," and only twenty people book, and the campsite's like, "Well, you promised us there'd be all these people." So we thought of another way to do it, which would be, you know, pick a Sunday afternoon, find an industrial estate, and then just do an impromptu meet up on an industrial estate, something like that. Yeah. And we were thinking of doing while we're over here. However, the weather really is naff this week, so mm, yeah, we've not done anything so far like that. Um, but yeah, before we go out to Europe, like we did um, in our um, earlier trip this year, oh, we did an impromptu meet up in Sagres Fort Car Park. And about uh, 12 fans turned up on that, so it was nice to meet people. So yeah, something like that possibly, where you just come out there for the day. Uh, there's no camping as such, you know, it's not like get your chair and tables or anything out like that. No it is just, or no, anything. it's just a, a meet-up. Like you would if you were, you know, like a member of a car club or something like that. Because I think that type of thing's yeah. probably better right now in the stuff that we're all going through. So. I would like to talk to um, Steve from Yells Graphics and Casbar, mm. um, the burger van that I went to, oh, yeah. which is epic, and because I think they do on the weekends, I think they're in like Argos car park or something. Mm. So I wouldn't mind doing like a meet up kind of like that around the uh, around the burger bar. The burger bar so yeah. obviously you're providing business to the burger bar because I want that burger bar to live. That is an awesome burger bar. Yeah. Um, Casbar, so you just want to search for Casbar in Milton Keynes if you are wondering about that, what I'm talking about. Um, so maybe if I actually spoke to them and, uh, and asked them if you know, like when, like, because I think if they're in an Argos car park, if they because they Argos close about four o'clock, don't they? On a yeah, Sunday, on a Sunday, Sunday train, yeah. yeah. So maybe if I said, Oh, can you stay open till three, two, three o'clock? Then Argos clears out. We can all meet there, have a burger, oh, right. and then disperse. Then say hi disperse, to everyone, yeah, and then yeah. disperse. So that would be pretty cool. Yeah. But obviously, I've got to talk to them about that. That would be something in the future. Yeah. Well, that's but the kind it's of another, thing. Yeah, another idea. Yeah. Um, Someone no. said nice motorhome. Uh, there's a van tour video on our channel. So if you go over to uh, John and Mandy on tour um, and look at the van tour, it's a burst and a Nexo. 690G Sovereign. There's lots of words to it, so. If you put some lights on. Boom. <laughs> what? Let's <laughs> <laughs> mm, not answer that. Let's not answer yeah. that one about where are you? Yeah. Um, a couple of little things. Jane is cooking tea and listening to us. Okay. Tea. Um, <laughs> and Vital Fitness says he's recently divorced. Sorry to hear about that. Two kids, um, and is in two minds to either DIY a sprinter or get a motorhome. Have you got any advice? So, me in my ultimate wisdom would suggest shut it. I can see you there, Tash. <laughs> shut it with your dinner. Sorry. Um, I, can, <laughs> I can see um, we would have gone for maybe a, a van a, a self build after our last van, yeah. but we didn't have anywhere to do it. And we didn't have any time to do it, so we had to go get something that was the layout that we needed. Um, and after we saw this one, it was perfect, and we couldn't we couldn't back off from it because it literally had everything yeah. we need and all the space we needed. 
So it depends on, on your budget and how much time you've got. So if you've got enough time to make a sprinter into what you need for yeah. you and your kids, then you can get it exactly the layout that you need. There are a million instructional videos online to help you from mm. like us and Greg and, and loads of everybody else um, who, who will help you to build how you want and the layout you want. However, if you just wanted to buy something, it depends how technical you are as well, if you can't, you know, how many skills you've got for wiring and stuff like that. If you just want to go buy something that might have the best layout for you, then that's fine. If you're going to go on campsites, and that's fine as well. Yeah. Stealth camping, I don't think there's such a thing. I think it's weird because a lot of the people who will be out there now, they'll build a van for a specific need, and we've mentioned this in other videos. You bought a van, and you know straight away you're going to be full-time, so you bought something that fitted yeah. you. When we originally bought a van, it was the uh, the T6, and it was so we could get under all the car parks to go out for the day, you know, with the height barriers, two meter height barriers. So it's purposely bought lowered suspension, one nine one point nine meters. It had a high low roof, pop top roof, and that, but it was just too small for anything more than an overnight. Yeah. Which is why we got the panel van, which was great for a couple of weeks and all that, and then we moved into the panel van full time, and the layout didn't work. And that's the difference is it's like, if you know how you're going to use it, build a van for that. If you change the way you're going to use it, yep. if your circumstances change and things change, your van may not be the right van. And that's why we changed our van again, because living full time in a van, we needed things to be in a certain way that were just not even possible. We couldn't have taken our old van apart and rebuilt it to give us the space that we got in this van. We tried it, Greg did a sketch up and all that kind of thing for us when we were out in Spain. Mm. Yeah. And we tried to see if we could have moved the banquette seat on sideways, do this, do that. And there just wasn't the space in the van to do it, so. And I mean like, oh yeah, you got to have, you got to know what you want to use it for, haven't you really? Yeah. And like, I mean, I'll give you a sneak, sneak insight to my, my thinking right now because I've got some changes coming up in the next year to 18 months of like um, being full time and maybe going traveling a lot more. So my motorhome is perfect. It suits me layout wise and it is ideal for everything I do. Excuse me, a bit of gas then. <laughs> the cherry, cherry Pepsi Max. See, that's um, why it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I want to do a few trips to Europe um, and maybe you know quite far into Europe. So, but I don't want to change my motorhome. I don't need to change my motorhome at all. But I don't want to change my motorhome if I'm going to change it until I've done Europe. So then I can find out the pros and cons, of what yeah. I actually need and what I don't need. So I can get. I know what I need ho over here. I know the layout I need here and how to survive here full time. No problem. That's fine. But then when I'm over there and traveling further afield, and if I'm going to not work for maybe a month or two at a time, I'm going to be in the vehicle more. Yeah. So then I need to know what do I need, what don't I need. So yeah, it's all about literally knowing your lifestyle. Yeah. And, you know, like I say, the worst case scenario is something changes and you've got to change your van. And that's why we didn't go with the, the conversion side of yeah. it. It was just easier to do this. Yeah. Um, quick question. Someone said the audio is a bit low. We've had to put the camera on the other side of the van so they can fit us all in with yep. the spacing with the... that we need to do. So much cheese. Um, get... yeah. So so yeah, just turn your volume up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Derek, I've got my phone down here. I'm not I'm not asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hi Del Boy, you alright? Hope everything's uh, yeah. alright, mate. I don't just say it's Derek. Hi Del. Um and said, um uh, turn the walk, are you planning on changing the oven? See, I'm finding ways to get... I mean, Dad saw me playing Tetris in the oven the other night with the amount of stuff <laughs> yeah. I got in that little thing. I was standing at the door and Mandy was putting stuff in the oven and it was literally squeezing and things in there and everywhere. There. Little toaster, you mean? Yeah, my little yeah. toaster. Now I've bought myself an absolutely brilliant uh, baking tray which just makes everything cook far better. It's this one. This one here. So that is brilliant. And yeah. that is the size of my oven that's all i can fit in there that's 10 centimeters no 10 inches even um <laughs> shot it um and um um and yeah and now i've got that and i've got another shelf in there i'm getting a lot more out of it so unless something happens if i want to cook a chicken i'll chuck it in the instant pot so and there's a lot of things that will go in there anyway so i think 
I think for now I'm all right. However, I think next time we're up um, up in hallway, we'll see uh, Dave and Joe and, and, and Mary will pop into that spare shot once it opens up because yeah. that looked amazing. Oh, yeah, definitely yeah. on that one. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was good, that was. A uh, couple of things. Um, is van levelling important? A lot of people talk about it. Um, we are ish level when we arrived. Um, the ground wasn't level. There are two reasons why you want it to be level. Depends on where your heads are to sleep. Yep. Because you never want to sleep with your head lower than your feet because you'll just have headaches all night. <laughs> you'll have a banging headache in the morning yeah. when you wake up. And if your van is at a really bad angle with some of the fridges that use gas, the flame won't burn where it's supposed to burn yep. and it'll blow itself out. So that's why you need to level. So we've. I thought you could say blow itself up, but. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, it just won't, you just, you just won't go to the right part. Yeah, there's a, there's a special part, someone will tell me what it is now, there's a special part that detects the flame burning. And if the flame burns away from that part, then essentially it shuts the gas off. Yeah. So that's how it works. And to be fair, I've full timed on the streets for three years, over three years, and I've never got the levelers out on the streets. Yeah, the most I've ever done is curb. Yeah, little, nip the curb a little bit. Nip the curb yeah. a little bit. Or mm -hmm. if I'm somewhere, I'll get a brick I've, and I've driven or a stone. Put your own van up on bricks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To keep the wheels on it or do you yeah. sell them to people? Yeah, yeah sell the wheels on it. Yeah. 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 Um, I just need to say a quick thanks, for Tash, for answering all the questions we're missing. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Doing a diamond. I just want to pick up another one. Pod in the comments. Chunky Prepper, can you email the details? I'll check it out. Um, and then give it a shout out on our video or something like that. He's on about a preppers meet up at Church Farm from the 17th. Ooh. Oh, that's in Stevenage. Is it Stevenage? Church Farm, Stevenage, yeah. It's not the one where we went where everything's a tenner. Mm. It's not the tenner farm, yeah. is it? It's tenner farm. Yeah, it's Church Farm. Yeah, Church Farm is... Because <laughs> that's op opposite the... the Wag oh, Is it Waggler's Inn? Was yeah, that? the pub. That was a nice pub, that, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the Waggler's Inn, wasn't it? Yeah, right. I don't know, I can't remember. The Jolly Waggler or something? I go to many pubs. So I am washing it down with wine. I know a wine glass would taste so much better, but John doesn't like rattles in the van, so we tend to not have any any glass yeah. of any kind. And yeah. I am very accident you know, prone. That's hilarious. Else. Every time we stop, they're hunting rattles like like mad. What do you mean stop? We do it when we're still <laughs> driving. <laughs> they're, they're like, oh, I wonder if it could be that. I wonder if it could be that. I definitely hear glass. I hear. And I've what got... was what was the last one? Oh, the step. The oh, no. The, the, chalk. The, the stupid one. You thought it was glass. And it, it was chalk for the you know, chalkboard. It, it, was, yeah, it, was it was chalk. chalk. Just rolling on the side, backwards mm. and forwards. Yeah, someone said, oh, your van's got loads of problems. You know, you shouldn't buy that or whatever. Uh, we are just ramming this van with everything we own. And we're living in it full time. So in one month, it's probably getting three years worth of regular use. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. So, so it is just what it is. But yeah, I couldn't be happy with the van. Perfectly fine with it. Yeah. Completely. I see. So, no, somebody else says Wilmington Dale and Cranberry is king. No, it's not. It is. No. Is there anything you miss about living in a house? Yes. The bills. <laughs> <laughs> I don't miss the bills. He went there. Yeah, I do. I miss the bills. What? They Why? don't get them. He misses them. Yeah, I don't miss, miss them. I don't get them anymore. I miss them. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting the left with jokes lately. <laughs> See, that's even, you've jo been around each other jokes. for too long. Yeah, jokes. You're going to have to go in a timeout, both of you, honestly. Yeah, Jack, not... Jack said that he'll barbecue in a field. I noticed that, field. find a field. Did you see that? Yeah. We'll barbecue. Yes. We'll barbecue. yes. Oh, thank you, Jack. We'll hold we'll you to, to that, that definitely. Yeah. Uh, someone should put here, Kieran, Darren, are you class one or class two? I am a class one driver. And then following... Hang, hang on a minute. Chris T, thank you very much, thermocoupler. Oh, there you go. The bit the and the word, gas oh, the detector, the, yeah. Right, and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Desmond O'Brien has just put he was a uh, tramper driver for 10 years on nights all over the UK and at night the service areas and truck stops and the industrial areas were all packed solid with trucks so yeah he I don't do it but he can attest to it uh, do electric it. fridges work when you're not level if it's a compressor fridge yeah they just work all the time um, no issues with that one uh, ours is a three way fridge on 12 volt it just about keeps about 10 degrees on 230, so mains volts, they work all right, yep. but they use an awful lot of power, so you yep. can't have it running all the time. I think it's around about 10, 12 amps through the inverter, yep. so that's why we all use them on gas all the time. But we have discussed this in the way that if these fridges ever fail, such that there are daft expensive fridges, I would probably build um, slide-out compressor ones, so like the Thetford 
or what's the other make? Dometic. Dometic ones, where it's like a chest freezer, but it's a small yeah, so one. Or, Touch. Yeah. yeah it's side opening or compressor. front opening. Yeah. yeah. And I'd, I'd build two of those, sort of top and bottom, on the slide out so we could get access to our stuff and then build just a front, like yeah. a door. That'd be pretty good, because if you're not going to go in the freezer for a week, the freezer would be using literally zero yeah, because really it would be shut with. yeah, and mm. everything solid inside so it just ticks over just yeah. ticks over I'm and thinking of breaking the fridge because I think that sounds like a really good idea <laughs> yeah well, well, we only about know that. about this don't we because in, in our VW T6 if you don't know we had one of them but in our VW T6 that had a drop top fridge didn't it yeah and that you could open the fridge for 20 minutes and rummage around and everything started still cold. cold. Yeah, the cold sinks, yeah. sinks down. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. Whereas really these fresh. fridges have got, especially this one, it's huge. It must be about um, three and a half, four feet. As soon as you open that door, all the coal's just tumbling out. So. Yeah, and it's really, it's really, it's not deep either. It's really narrow, so there's not really a lot of it to to get back in the um, in the thing. Yeah, we've got a Keep question. The cold in. Do you guys ever get asked for a pick or an autograph? Yes. We've been stopped so many times. <laughs> I don't know if Jason's on. I've not seen him. Yeah. Jason, if you're not on, why aren't you on? <laughs> you know, and we bumped into him in the car park because we were grabbing a cheeky McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> we, we we find it now that we we pulled up here, didn't we? And about an hour went past, and someone went past and got a camera out and took, and a, took quick a picture, picture of and ran away. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, bless. I mean, you know, we just come over and say hi. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, a metre away, but come over yeah. and say hi. But we did work out between us um, with social media channels, our two YouTube channels, your YouTube channel, yep. and all that. There's probably over 70,000 people that might know about us. Yeah. So the chances of being It's quite funny, though, that you, you're just going around the country and people go, hi. And it's the bibbing <laughs> on the motorway as well, isn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. People on roundabouts and motorways, proper honking. Yeah. Can I just also say a massive thanks at the moment because we've got 538 people watching. Oh, wow. We are, wow. We are you all so killing much. it. Absolutely killing yeah, it. Thank you so much. You see, everybody yeah. loves cheese. Yep. That's it, isn't it? Get us all on for the thank cheese. Would you ever buy an under-the-counter fridge with a decent energy rating? I guess you mean a home one running on the inverter and no. I understand there's a cost implication to that, that you know, they're really cheap. But like I say, the, the power you'd lose by running the inverter all the time is probably double the power if you had a 12 volt compressor fridge. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, someone's asked if a slow cooker is any good on solar. I can say that I left a slow cooker on reheat. <laughs> um, we went out to the shop, but we went out with Dave and Mevy and a few others, stopped at a pub. Five hours later, <laughs> we got back from the pub and we no had power. flat batteries and um, overcooked food. Mm. So, um, yeah, I would say that the they're probably all right. I mean, use them on hookup, and if you've got stuff, that's what we tend to use for the the, um, the instant pot. Or if I know what we're doing for something later, like tomorrow, I'm probably going to cook chili in the instant pot in the morning before we leave here because we've got hookup, and then I'll reheat it again in the evening. Because I normally just make some potato wedges and then put the chilli over the top of it and then loads of cheese sauce and cheese and nachos and build it up so it's like this high. Um, but I'll do that then while we're on hook up or if I'll do it in the morning before we go for a long drive so then yeah. the batteries will be topped up by the drive. Um, it's just to get about scheduling what you're doing and when. Yeah, you've so, got to know what you've what you got to do, yeah. And as Tash has just said, get a thermal cook cooker. I've been looking at these. You literally just... You start it off 10 oh, yeah, minutes on the that, hob and then you pop it in this thermal thing so it's all sealed up yeah. and it just carries on cooking slowly for the rest of your journey and it's normally done like six hours later or something. It's really cool. Dave. You should do a video about it, Tash. Mm. Yeah. Dave, one man is whip it. whip it. Have you got a bike yet, Dazzler? Uh, and are you coming mountain biking with us soon? Pub to pub to pub. <laughs> that, I haven't got one yet. Yes, Daz, get a bike, get a bike, get a bike, get a bike. <laughs> yes, when they turned up for my birthday thing, <laughs> that's one thing we thought about was obviously being on bikes and using like the bike network. Yep. Not main, not actual roads. Yep. There is, is it three or four routes or something you suggested in Yorkshire? Where within four hours of cycling, yep. you can do quite it's a like few pubs. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's there. No wonder Dave got a bike. Oh no, yeah. It's just so I can get to the pub easy. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I thought Van Leveling was a Dutch carpenter. Sorry. <laughs> 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 right. 
<laughs> yeah, Dash. Oh yeah. Normally people ask me to take a photo with uh, with people with Darren. Yeah, yeah. yeah that happened at the <laughs> NEC. Someone no. said about putting a fridge on a gimbal or can you do auto living for a fridge? You've got to be on a serious angle for it to be a problem. Yeah, no, I've been... No, I wouldn't worry about Sorry, it. Sorry, Jock's going see Jock. Take care, honey. See oh, Jock. Yeah, see Jock. Take care, mate. Have a good one on the, uh, on the buses. I've been on some quite angled cambers on, on roads. Yeah. And I just parked the opposite side, so obviously my head's up. But, the, yeah, I mean, I've had... Like, like if I put something on the table, it'd roll off quite easily at, at pace mm. so I've been on some because I've just thought well I just need to sleep I just I can't doesn't really bother me it's it's like sleeping a little bit in a chair mm. <laughs> uh, uh, I must admit one thing we absolutely love about this van over the last one is that we used to sleep longitudinally yep and now we sleep like back and front yeah and it's so easy. There almost isn't a situation now where we can't park up wherever we park because the beds are in a certain way that it kind of, you know when you park up, you just put yeah. your nose front, yeah. nose down, sorry, yeah. and that's it. And but, if not, then the top of the bed lifts up. So we've yeah, got like reading beds um, for the head of the bed. So if ever we do that, if we do it when it's a bit low, we just put it, like click it up one. Yeah, so the beds lie flat like that, but like you say, for reading, you can bring the head of the bed up. So it does mean that if you are back down for some reason, yeah, you can bring it up like that. So it does make it more comfortable. Uh, there we go, mm -hmm. Gary. Hi, uh, hi, John. Do your water? Does your water heater work with your inverter plugged into your van? Um, yeah, but it uses an awful lot of amps. Yeah, it would use a stonking amount of amps. <laughs> I'm just going through the old stuff. You're answering questions, and Tash is like. I've answered that, Daz. Keep up, Ethel. Oh, <laughs> thing going. There we go. <laughs> Don't forget your ciders in there. Uh, oh, yeah. Get your cider out for your cheese. Diane, I was going to honk at Darren the other week near Amwell, then thought, uh, when I thought it was him. Yep. Honk away. Ooh. Another request for Coop. Coop is still asleep on the bed. His little paws are just dangling, dangling off the side of the bed. Bless him. James Lewis, this is my first ever live chat. Hello, hey! Jay. Welcome, Jay. Welcome. Yeah. to the manic world of live chats. And Daz, when are you going to do a review of your ice maker? That'll be coming soon. If you want a review, it's in one of our recent vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold as ice. It is. It's mm. cool. Yeah. And it, it, do, it does make quite a lot of ice. Mm. It is good. It's Coke. funny, someone said about putting uh, my wine glasses in clean socks. All my wine bottles are in clean socks. So, you know, <laughs> it kind of figures that I should put my wine glasses. So, someone's asked coach built or van conversion. Again, like we said before, it depends on what you've got. Yeah. Money-wise, the layout you want, you can create something, the use that you're going to do for it. So we mean, that's we've not got a so much question. more space in here. That's the only thing I we can say. I have got is, the time, tools, location or energy. Should mm. I say, and skills to build my own? I really haven't. There's one that we're watching right now. It's Eamon and Beck, and they're building a new van because they have to leave their old van in, in Morocco. Morocco. Yeah. So they're building a new van to travel around North America, Canada, um, and it's absolutely amazing. Oh, it's beautiful. Really, it's really nice. Be and it's all bells and whistles, and they've done some really, yeah. really cool, unique things with the bed and the water filtration system and a composted toilet and shower and everything like that oh, it's beautiful so if you want an if idea you wanted to see what it's like now and yeah. you've not done it before just go watch their latest video yeah Amen and, and it's, it's just brilliant and the lovely people they're adorable um bruce no flying cats tonight which is good <laughs> we had seagulls yeah yesterday that oh, sounded yeah, like cats outside the van. Like cats. Honestly, it's the weirdest thing. Oh, Bruce yeah. is asking as well, how are your fish doing? Have any of your fish died? Any no, time? no, they are <laughs> healthy as anything. <laughs> you are know? you had to clean it lately or is it still no, crystal no, clear? No, it's crystal clear. Yeah. When did you last find them? Absolutely. This morning. Yeah. No, Have you got names for them yet? Nemo. Dory. <laughs> Bruce. What's your, what's your plec called? Plec. Plec, plec. <laughs> yeah. Algae. <laughs> Oh, they're brilliant. Yeah. Van life <laughs> sounds very silly. Does it feel like you're always in the van, same walls, etc., as living in a small flat? Um, no, because 
COVID was exceptional, so let's ignore COVID, even though we did a video about yes. that. And it's great. Mm. But no, because it's an outdoor life. You are you travel from one place to another. You plunk yourself there really yeah. to to sleep and eat, and then you go out and see places and have a walk around. Like today, we've been walking around yeah. most of the day until we got drowned. But, but yeah, you've got enough inside to make it home comforts. Yeah, for when it is been it's been piddling yeah, down like for the today, rest yeah. of the day, that you can quite easily, you know, if it piddled down from all of the day and we were here tomorrow as well, for instance, and it piddled all tomorrow. I can quite easily sit on my sofa, do potter around, do do things in my motor home. I can watch movies. I can just chill out, cook food, well, any, anything. Yeah. And you guys can do the same, can't you? Yeah. No, there's no bother. But the thing staying. is, I, we, we <laughs> sold. We sold. Um, sorry, Tash, can you sort that resist out? Please, honey. <laughs> Get to my assistant to sort them out. Um, I don't know these spot you at the bottom. Yeah, I'm just going to Yeah, just get rid. Um... And um, we we left a large four bedroom house with a big back garden and uh, to live in this van. And the only thing that I have missed since then is the back garden. Felt stir crazy far far more times in that house than I've ever done in the van. Um, you can choose the, the the view that you want to 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 have if you if you're bored. You move to somewhere yeah. different. Uh, obviously, with uh, accepting COVID, but yeah. Yeah, I don't find that at all. I find, and I, I, I keep turning around to John and going, still not fed up, you know. <laughs> I'm still not fed up. I just get so excited. And we've got stairs now, so I can still go upstairs. So, oh, you know, me. do I miss decorating? Not at all. Do. Um, does the hot water heat up um, instantly? How long can you shower for? Uh, the hot water takes about five minutes to get to properly hot temperature. Uh, we've got a Combi uh, 6E, which means it's a gas and electric boiler. But I think it worked the same as the old van, which is a 4E, so I don't think it actually makes more difference. Mine's not that fast. Isn't it? Probably about 10, 15. Right. Yeah. But then it holds 20 litres of hot water, and we've got a special shower head, which is one of those high pressure, low um, rate, low flow rate, mm. so you get you know, more water use out of it. And we can both have a shower from around about 15 litres of water. So. Yeah. How old is Coop? He Cooper has just turned 11. Just turned 11, yeah. Yeah, he was 11 on the 23rd of June. And here we go, we've got a question. What would the essential toolkit consist of uh, for on the road, please? Mike's toolkit is threatening to take up more space than I'm getting for my life. Great to see you guys uh, doing what we want to do. Now, I know what you're going to say to this. He's done a video about that. <laughs> I need to have a T-shirt on. Yeah, I need to go get it for you. <laughs> no, no. I'm yeah, so he's done, you've done a video about all your toolkit and everything you take on the road. Um, basically, it is a minimal toolkit, but I am finding that almost in most situations I've got everything we need, like fixing yeah. your taps. And yeah, yeah, we've had a few, few little things we've had to fix and that, and yeah, yeah been pretty fine, isn't it? Yeah, so if, yeah, if you want to check out my channel, there is a video called What Tools I Take in the Camper Van. Yeah. Thanks for this. I'm seriously consider. This is Les Simpson. Thanks for this. I'm seriously considering selling my flat and living in my Fiat Ducato full time. Oh, yeah. Me and the dog, freedom. Thumbs up. Yes. Definitely. If um, you can, you should. That's yeah. all. That's all I can say. Yep. If if your lifestyle will be the same, obviously, if you're not going to do yourself financially to, yeah. to do something, yeah. um, then and you've no reason and, to stay, then why not do it? And it's do such it. a an easy thing to do if you've already got a van. It's such an easy thing to do. And if it doesn't work out for you, if not, obviously you've got an option to sell the van, get your money back. Yeah, I'm so going to say because he said he's going to sell, considering selling his flat. I mean, I've never owned property. You two have, and you two yeah. sold. Maybe if you were really, I'm in an R, and I'm in an R, and I'm in an R, and maybe just do six months. Yeah, rent go, it out. For rent six it months. out for six months, yeah. then yeah. go. Then you have got the option to bail and go back to exactly yeah. the way you were. Or if not, you can sell it. If you're thinking about you don't want to live there, carry on living there. Yeah. Sell it, bank the cash, don't touch the cash at all. Yeah. So that then you've got that in six months' time to come back and buy another property, whatever you want. Someone says that your wheels look absolutely epic. Thank you've you. Had people stop, <laughs> you've had people people stop us go, to say Ooh. the wheels look awesome on the van. So we were yeah. um, we were asleep the other morning and we could hear people walking past where we were parked up, and they were saying, "Ah, oh, imagine the places you could get to with that van. You can go anywhere." And I'm like, what do I want to, to pull the blind and go, I know I want to. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, do you save as much as people make out? I'm guessing you mean by living in a van. Um, yeah, it's quite strange because our first few months on the road was, was a holiday. Covid then kicked in, which was the opposite as no travel whatsoever, but we spent the same budget by making upgrades to this van because we just bought this van. And now we're on the road again. It's felt like a little holiday again. Um, but if you take out the expenses of, you know, treats and things like that, yeah, I'm more expensive than Dad's because obviously he's on his own. It's Mandy and I. So I would think that our budget's coming in around about eight to eight fifty a month, and that includes uh, breakdown, fuel, insurance. Um, I've built in a little bit for um, MOT and servicing, although I try and do most of that myself. Oh, obviously not the MOT, but. Um, and then our biggest expense by far um, is fuel and food. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't think it's expensive. If you're on your own, it can be cheaper. Yeah. And, and, and as if you, you don't eat see, as much food as we do, it could be yeah, a lot cheaper. As course. you can see, thank you. We, you know, we are really kind of like fortunate that we've got enough money to do all this. So, if you were to, you know, kind of calm down your budget on food. I reckon you could easily make it work for 600, 650 a month. Yeah, well, I mean, I've done a video on it. <laughs> um, and mine was with my Netflix and entertainment and my fuel and my food. Um, obviously, I've got other bills which aren't van life related. They're just personally to me. Um, but for, for living in the van, everything in the van and my food and my fuel and maintenance um, was about five five fifty a month. Um, and that was giving quite a little bit of leeway as well. Mm. But I would say, along with the whole monthly costs, you need to try, I'm not saying everyone needs to be rich or anything like that, but you need to try and have an emergency fund. Yeah. Yeah. To just sit there for when stuff happens, not if stuff yeah, happens. Absolutely. And again, I'll give another sneak peek of what happened to me the other day. Yeah. Is we, first day we um, met up and we drove to Thetford. Uh, we found a little park up, didn't we? Beautiful little park up. Stopped there, and John was leaning against his motor home, just looking towards me. I was standing in my doorway of mine, and he went, oh, what's that? And I don't know how he spotted it, because proper eagle eyes. And, I tried living yeah. with him, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> really spotted it, and then uh, it turned out my passenger brake disc was cracked. Had a crack in it through old age, because it was uh, starting to rust. So... I then, at 20 to 5 in the evening, rang a few mechanics. Second mechanic I rung, um, which was D DKS Servicing, I believe. Mm. I'm going to put them in a video. Um, rung them up and then, yeah. Yeah, D DKM, sorry. DKM. Yeah, brilliant they are. Uh, so if you're ever in the Fetford area, great guy, Dave. Um, he got the parts and fitted yeah. it the next day. Next he day, literally yeah. called the Pete. He goes, right, I'll get off the phone now. I'll call him. I'll see if I can get parts. And then he got parts. He called me back. He said, right, I've got everything coming. Um, so he said, if you can be down here at 8 o'clock in the morning, I'll fit it all for you. So from finding the problem at half four. Giving a lot away on your video. Yeah, I, I know. It's easy. I know, but you should watch <laughs> it for but, all but the details. from finding the problem at half four to 10.30 next morning, and it was done and dusted yeah. for two hundred and ten pound. Yeah. yeah, you can't argue with that. So, Honestly, but that in... was money just sitting there, ready for a problem. Yeah, mm. and it's done. The problem's yeah. fixed. I mean, we have enough money that we can hopefully fix the vast majority of the problem with the van, and we can put ourselves up for a couple of weeks in a hotel should we need to, it's if we can't Pepcox actually stay in the van. Too. So, Pepcox yeah. Too. Um, I also wanted to answer someone's question. It might be my northern accent. So, um, Gary Furs, it was 15 one five litres of water for us both to have a shower. Yeah. Looks like um, Prep Cooks of Ivy's on. Is that Stu? Stu. Oh, Stu. All right, Stu, oh, mate. Oh, yeah. Stu. Still got some port, uh, port <laughs> rinds in salt in the boot, so yeah. good for next time. Uh, can your fridge be powered by 12 volts? Yes, it can, but it's um, it doesn't even work off the thermostat or anything like that. It's... It's it pretty doesn't, much doesn't useless. keep temperature very well, does it? No, no, it's pretty much useless, really. Them fridges are really only good on 2.30 after a while. Yeah. 
and gas. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve volt is pretty. Yeah. It's you might as well go Halfords and get a plug-in twelve volt cigarette light, uh, yeah. light, of, light of box. When we had the caravan, um, we used to not have, we used to have the fridge running where we were on the driveway packing up. Yeah. And then we'd have it running from the car, and then as soon as we got there, we'd blast it on gas. And then as soon as it was at temperature, we'd put it on hook up Electric, yeah. because it just it, they seemed to be a, so much more efficient on gas. Um, yeah. On on gas. Uh, someone's asked about no overnight camping signs. As a general yep. rule of thumb, how do you treat them? Do you ignore and stay anyway or find alternatives? Uh, we are pretty much sticklers for, if it says no overnight, there's a reason, so turn away, go elsewhere. Depend. One caveat to that that I've got is if I'm in the middle of nowhere and it's a little lay-by and it says no overnight, in the middle of nowhere and it's an okay lay-by, yeah. I'll do it. And there is a little caveat to the law on that one. Um, no one can move you unless there are fines, terms and conditions that go along on the exact same sign as no overnight, st no overnight camping or no overnight stopping. Right. And it's got to say both. Yeah. And but if it, it was, legal. if it was in the town, near near buildings, near near shops, near properties, near things like that, and it says no overnight, yeah, it's just not worth it. Just just move on. Uh, can you walk or sit on your motorhome roof? Um, I can. Yeah, I would say there's a weight <laughs> limit, um, and, and if, if it's their roof we're talking about, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> um, our roof is thirty centimeters thick. So. Thirty centimeters is a ruler. No, not thirty cent. Um, thir thirty mil. Thirty mil thick. Yeah, three centimeters thick. It's a good job he measures twice, cuts once, <laughs> isn't it? That's a thick you know? roof. <laughs> um, and it's got supports across it, but it's not a wood construction roof so I'm presuming it's all aluminium or something like that um, and Mandy was all right going over the roof when we were putting the solar panels in but I wouldn't attempt to go on the roof um, when we were doing your van yeah if you see on Daz's video for putting John the lights the roof. on uh, yes, John yes. from so, Life Beyond John, Bridge yeah Life Beyond Bridge there. yeah he's uh he jumped up there and done that because I knew I, <laughs> I would go through it uh got a few here uh Trev wants to know John what's in the flask Sue wants to know if it's uh, kefir yogurt drink. It's not kefir, no, it's... No, um, is it kefir? Yeah, is it? Yeah, I'm sure it's kefir, I don't know, it? I don't know. It's a uh, gentleman's Jack, Jack. Yeah, gentleman's Jack and Coke. And that, I knew... You just reminded me to have a drink. I knew it was <laughs> gentleman's Jack, so that leads on to this next question. Yeah. See how I did that. I'm such a professional. Such a professional. If someone's what happens out, with drinking as in being drunk in charge and living in a motorhome due to having the keys and being in control of a motor. We don't drink unless we're on um, campsites land. or yeah. private land. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, if we're on the highway, we won't drink at all, we won't touch it. And I've had, I've just poured a One. cider, and that cider, how long have I had them bottles of cider? Well, since the... since we met when you first week holiday. It was, yeah, it was, so it's about, about a month and a half ago. Month yeah. and a half, I've had them two bottles yeah. of cider in my fridge. And I've been carrying one around with us for ages in our fridge. Yeah. So yeah, I just don't. Just I just don't drink. drink. I just don't drink. It's, yeah. Um, and I'm sorry to mention it, but you did say something, Bruce, about wheels. So wheels. Only that someone's asked, um, did you get a spare wheel for your van? No, because there's nowhere to put a spare wheel carrier in our van. So I have got the <laughs> two style of puncture repair kits. One is the gunk you shove in the valve. Um, and the other one is where you actually kind of like pierce a hole through any puncture and pull through a kind of like a grommet to seal it up. So I got Kev Joe's Darren, eat your bloody cheese. <laughs> I'm, I'm all right at the moment. I'm all right. Best breakdown cover for over three and a half ton has got to be RAC something. It's called. Oh yeah, we got a free uh, caravan and camping club membership with yeah. that one. Yeah. It's, the, it's the RAC's um, special motorhome camper van cover and there are no limits on size or weight so and it covers europe as well someone's asked about they've said they've, they've uh, they're getting refillable gas fitted oh, um yeah. hearing rumors that many stations have stopped supplying is there any truth in this there are fewer stations there's a few definitely. that have taken a few shells have taken um them out and they're putting electric points in yeah. which to me doesn't make sense why they're taking the gas out apart from where the actual big gas tank is. If it was underground, yeah. then it wouldn't be a problem. But where the gas tanks sit, the yeah, massive they're using, things, that space. they're using that space to then put two or three electric points. But um, Morrison's are only adding to theirs, and I've seen a couple of SOs. Oh, right, okay. I've never seen SO, but there's two yeah. in my area oh, okay. that have popped up where 
shells were supplying and uh yeah the big shells aren't changing they're no. not gonna because they're on main heavy roads there's yeah. no point well there's a um, what's it called is it um my my lpg dot L- lpg dot eu and yeah. yeah lpg so if you download yeah. the app it tells you and it says you know within your area there's so many stations and then the last person to report it was okay so if you do use the app do click on there and say yep i've just used it there and they've still got lpg and that helps us all out yeah everyone's saying to eat cheese and crackers up yeah just having a pause yeah <laughs> because um we had quite a big lunch to, to be fair yeah Oh, and um, it's, it's substantial cheese. Yeah, it is strong cheese. Mm. Yeah, I'm liking it. <laughs> Someone just put what, here what my best three che- things. Motorhomes, cheese and beer. Yes, yes. I agree on all three points. Oh. I drink your preppers off. Oh, JD. Not see you, buddy. See you, mate. Don't forget to email me about that thing. We can uh, Take it easy, mate. Show. Rattler cider is the best, Aaron. Oh, I love oh, Rattlers. Rattlers, yeah. I like the Rattler yeah. Cloudy, yeah. the green it's one. Good. Okay, I'll have to try that one day. Yeah, you can go and have a, a tour of the uh, the little factory. That's where our Healy Cider Farm, yeah. you know, the, the big mat yeah, that we've yeah, in yeah, the yeah. kitchen, that's they from there. It. Oh, maybe that's really right, good. Have a look. Yeah. We need to go to Healy Cider Farm and get a new one because we've had that one since we bought the T6 <laughs> and uh, it's getting a bit worn now because yeah. it, it's used a lot. It's great. If ever you needed something to put over your your glass surfaces in the uh, in the kitchen, we just got one of their, like the bar mats, you know, the thin ones that are rubber backed and it means you can put everything on it, it stops things from rattling if you can put things down on your glass tops without them causing any problems. And if you're drying the pots and, I mean, we've got like a folding dish rack anyway, but if that's too full, you can just put things on there as well and it drains, but it doesn't soak through. So that's why we need a new one. <laughs> um, another question, does your motorhome keep in the heat? Uh, yes, it's really good. Like I said, the the ceilings um, 30 mil thick, the walls are 50 mil thick, um, and it's German built van, many uh, made for all seasons. I think the floor's 50 mil thick as well. So yeah, it's got plenty of insulation in it. So um, we've never been really cold. It's been minus it's threes, fours, tens outside, and we've still been uh, plus 15, 16 inside. So pretty cool. Yep. How long have you reasonably stayed parked in one place, urban parking? Well, well, apart from COVID. Apart from COVID, <laughs> probably maybe three days urban. In one place? Yeah. Yeah, 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 maybe three days. Yeah. Do you like to move around? I would feel a bit Yeah, more... I would say two two days for me, really. I like to then move on because I like, if it's a spot, you know, that's, that's really good, I don't want to ruin it for myself in the future. And I don't want to ruin it for other people, potentially. So It's a good one. Do narrow country roads make you nervous? Oh, they have been round here. <laughs> Can you, uh, watch our videos for the last week because, yeah, we are driving down the road and obviously the mirrors stick out more. The mirrors are in the hedges a lot of the time on some of the mm-hmm. roads and then the van's also getting a bit of, uh, a, bit of a tickling. I got quite close to a bus, didn't I? You did, yeah. The bus got really close to me and I, got, I was, yeah, right against the hedgerow. Yeah. And uh, that was skimming, wasn't it? Someone's asked me if I'd do anything any differently. Um, I don't think I would. I think the way that we went into van life, having already been caravanning for 20 yeah. years and then everything else, I was, it wasn't a surprise what we had to do. And we, we chose motorhomes over caravans because we wanted to keep moving. Because you kind yeah. of, you go and park a caravan up on a site, and then you go out for the day, come back, go out for the day, come back, yeah. go out for the day, come back. Yeah. The bonus is you can leave your coffee maker out the side and don't have yeah. to keep putting it away. Yeah. Yeah. But we found we wanted to go out and then stay out and then go somewhere else and then stay there. And and move around. To be yeah. fair, we were at home because when we took a walk in town today, we could have, if we wanted to, have got quite close to town. Yeah, yeah we could have today. driven in. Not, not to sleep, but we could have got yeah. quite close to town, pay for parking and then just nip straight in. Yeah. Yeah. And then gone back to the van, had lunch. And then continue back out if we really wanted to. Or yeah. if it wasn't for Coop being with us and you not having a bike yet, yeah. him, we could have all done a bike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We yeah. could have, yeah. Because it's really well, it's really well yeah. set up for yeah. cycling, loads yeah. of cycle yeah. routes and stuff around here, so that's really good. But, um, but yeah, but no, I don't think I'd do anything any differently. Um, I think uh, I'd probably prepare myself to um, be a bit more 
um, proactive in the things I do because I do tend to talk the talk a lot, don't I? Oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this and then I end up being so busy anyway I don't mm. do anything yeah. um, or I do other things and not the things that I've been talking about but but no, um, I think I would do the same again if we could. So, yeah, you've got a request. What's that? Uh, it's French's motorhome channel. Mm. Uh, please ask Mandy if she can do that deep mank accent again, like she did in a previous video when she said, "All right, our kid." Huh. All right, our kid. <laughs> oh, like that. Are you going to attempt to do that? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I'll have been so many different cultures. It'll oh, be unreal. unreal. Daz, Daz does mm. the most ridiculously awful mank accent ever. But you know, it's a sap, isn't it? I don't do southern accents no. very much, but. Do you, um, do you, do you read that one from Jill? Oh. just been there. Do you think the beds are substantial for sex? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. No, I was going to read another one, which says, uh, "Do you have air conditioning? It gets hot." But yes, sometimes it does get hot in here. Um, we don't have have air conditioning, but we have cab air conditioners. So. Uh, I got one. Can you recommend a safe field gas fitter? You don't need a gas fitter. No. You just literally unscrew the attachment on your colour bottle and then take that out throw it away uh, go responsibly get rid of it yeah. don't throw it away um, and then get your safe fill and then put it straight in place and screw that on that's it all you need to do no more than that and they're how pretty good how do you wash your hair in the van Mandy? in the shower although saying that in the other van we had a, a little drop down sink that was probably According to John, about five foot tall, um, <laughs> but it was, it was only, and I could, I've got quite fine hair, so I could get my hair in that sink yeah. and, and wash it in barely any water at all. I've used buckets before now. Um, generally, though, I mean, and when we were away, I went 16 days without washing my hair. Obviously, you had showers and flannel washes and stuff like that. But it just, I tie it back all the time. It looks the same. It feels the same. It's, it's... Why didn't they ask you that question, John? <laughs> oh, what age are we all? Well, I'm 27. I'm 31. You're I'm the 12. oldest, aren't you? <laughs> I'm 12. <laughs> um, I had a video out last week, uh, and um, and the title says my age. Um, yes, I am uh, 50. <laughs> I didn't really hear that. He said 50, Daz. 50? 50. 50? 50. 50p. <laughs> I am 31. I'm 27. Mm. Told you already. There you go. You know? Strange. Do you want to actually maybe add another 20 to that? You don't ask a woman how old she is. <laughs> I was fine with that answer. 27. 4. 43. That's mm. all that's being said. Uh, Daz, what's your thoughts on Ari the ULES charge? Yeah, this it's a bit expensive to go into London, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's a bit expensive. Oh yeah. Um Yeah, I don't really know what to say. They just love money, don't they? They love charging. They don't want cars in there, but really they do need cars in there. So Any excuse yeah. to tax people. Yeah, it is. It's just another Spot excuse. Them. Oh look, we can have them right there because 'cause they're coming in on the road. We'll have them. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Bye Mr. and Mrs. T. Bye bye. Bye. Um Where does somebody's... Cooper live when you travel? Like in the van with us. As it, he sits, if, if that's what you mean, underneath this table. He's got a big comfy memory foam mattress and um, like one of the seatbelt clip things. So he, he sits under there and we clip that to his harness and then he safely stays under. He chose it. He he chose to sit under here. So that's where that's where he gets to sit. And he sleeps under here at night as well. Um, someone said, what are the plans for YouTube? Build a big channel and live off it. I think by the time we <laughs> manage to get a channel big enough to live off... Um, that we might be We're all YouTube tired. millionaires, don't you know? Yeah, there's not an awful lot of money until yeah. you get to the really big numbers. Oh, so. and speaking of YouTube having a go and make your money and all that, yeah. I would like to let you know right now, we've all received an email from YouTube today that says they are, without an option from us, um, putting mid-roll ads on forcing, all our videos. Forcing, forcing mid-roll ads. And, yeah, I had a uh, comment the other day about my... Uh, I'd forgot because I turned them off. Yeah, us too. Too. yeah, you too. Yeah, I'll put them uh, one maybe at the front and yeah. at the end if there maybe is you know they can and at the sides of the things they can deal with all them, but I don't put them in the middle because I don't want to stop you watching what you're yeah. watching, because 
Yeah, that's why Sky TV is so popular now exactly, because people yeah. pause and then yeah, they fast forward. Yeah. You know, no one wants ads. Yeah. But I forgot to untick it, or I don't know, they might have been testing something and they might have ticked it themselves. I think they've ticked um, it, forced it. And I had a comment saying there's four ads in like an 11 minute video, which takes the mickey if you ask me. There's probably yeah. more ads in video then, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. So, you know, I went back and turned it off because I don't put them in, but now they're going to be forcing them in. Yeah, so from um, July 8th, every video that's over eight minutes long, the multiple adverts are not any fault of ours. That's YouTube forcing it down. Yep. And apparently there may be an option for us to go and untick that and take them yeah. all off. So for a couple of days, we do apologize, but they're forcing it on all our videos and we've got hundreds of videos. So we're going to have to go and take them all off. Yeah. And I mean, this, I don't want to plug, plug them because they're doing this, but I mean, me and you have been using premium, haven't we? Yeah. So once you said that, no ads if you pay YouTube for premium. premium. We yeah. have been using that for, um, I've been using that for about three months now, four yeah. months. And I haven't seen an ad in that, that whole time. Yeah. And that's quite, it is cool. quite a beautiful thing. How much yeah. is it? I think I pay eighteen pound a month, right. but that's for a family account. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. So I've got me and five others, or me and four others. Yeah. Five others. I think. I think mean, it's for six people. So if you do get, you know, you and a friend or something, um, yeah, or you and your family, you can chip in and yeah, uh, a couple of quid each, I suppose. If you are, if you're avid, avid YouTube watchers, yeah, it's worthwhile. It's then, worth yeah. it, yeah. To save a bit of time. You don't have the the mess, but. But we're going to clear up YouTube's mess. Yeah, it might take me a few it. days, but I'm going to go and tick on, get removed whatever I need to do yeah. to remove those mid-roll ads. Yeah, we're going to have to revisit all the uh, all the videos and change yeah. the settings. So, uh, Stu says, please talking about fixing punches, John. It's hot. <laughs> but he's gone now. He's also gone he's now. Gone. Oh, is he yeah, gone? he's just left. That's how far behind I am. Uh, this one, uh, the Carpy Campers, uh, bought a Victron. 100 slash 20 for a 270 watt solar panel mm -hmm. if i upgrade to a 540 watt uh with another 270 can i add another mppt charge or do i need to upgrade my uh controller to something bigger it's gonna be like trying to work out the volts and the amps on there um because that's only 20 no you're gonna need a you're probably gonna need another one or you're gonna need a bigger one if you're doubling the solar panel because you've only got 20 amps mm. max on it. Is that when it says it's 100 slash 20, that's 100 volts. You, I've, I've started to learn. I'm no expert. Um, it's really sweet to see him when he knows what he's talking about. It's 100, it, try and 100 it. volts, 20 amps max. Yep. Uh, it will peak at 20 amps and it will stay at that 20 amps, won't yeah, it? Yeah, so it's a maximum of 100 volts you can put through it. Yeah. And if you do that, you'll get a maximum of 20 amps out of it. Yeah. So, and you'll get, you should get more than that out of 500 and... Oh, uh, 40 yeah. watts. Yeah, you should get over 30 amps. So yeah, so you need a new controller. But if you want, email me via our website, um, gjot.uk. Send me an email and I'll send you a far better answer back with um, some ideas and everything. Yeah. Jack said, the only thing he worries about YouTube Premium is how do you guys still get your few pennies worth? Um, if you're a YouTube Premium viewer, uh, we actually get more money when you watch our videos. So if you're not, if you just watch YouTube, whether you subscribe or not, and you just watch YouTube, we get, you know, let's call it half a p. Um, if you're a YouTube premium viewer, we get two p. Oh, Dale's yeah. going night down. Oh, night down. No, see you later, mate. Yeah, do they do they um, work out on how much that that account's used for that month or something? No, it's just that um, they basically pay us more for our content. If a YouTube premium user right, okay. watches it, we get more for that yeah, okay, that's fair. Because they've watched it and they can't say what the advertiser paid at the time because they didn't display the advert. Right. So they, play a, they pay a, fa a flat fee rather than the fee dependent on the uh, cost of the advert that was played at the time. Oh, someone, Sorry guys, a bit... Someone put uh, Yo's Travel premium all the way i pay three pound for premium hmm. yeah. okay so i suppose that's for a single account then oh uh, yeah maybe or maybe, sing, yeah. maybe 299 399 something like that so yeah have a look here i'm not making anything out of it i'm not recommending it because no. they're being a bit you know they're pushy they're, 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 they're they're off, so, they yeah. are being pushy and that but if you don't want to see ads ever then that's one way to do it yeah so someone's asked if i'm local i sound like i'm from greater manchester i am 
Mm -hmm. uh, I was born in Denton, um, and then we lived in Hyde after that. So, so yeah, pretty much apart from a couple of years, we lived a bit further out in Cheshire Way. Yeah. Um, I've always lived in Manchester, so, yup. And I've lived almost everywhere in the UK, and a bit in France. This is a big question. <laughs> What are your lifetime aspiration travel uh, goals, travel-wise? Are you happy wandering around the UK countryside in pub car parks, or do you have any big destinations overseas you wish to conquer? Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, we're going to Scandinavia. Gonna yeah, right that now. Out. If we if it wasn't for COVID, we'd be in Scandinavia with a group of other people right now, some friends. Yeah, we were supposed to be over there so, now. Yeah. Um, and then obviously we didn't complete all of our trip really earlier this year, so we're going to go and do more of that. Um, Italy, Greece, Croatia. Croatia. Yep. Um, but we, we, we love everywhere. France, yeah. so we just have to be hitting up France mm. all the time. Yeah. Well, not all the time. Well, uh, I would cheese and wine. I'm happy. I'm happy <laughs> to do the whole of you know, of Europe. Do all that. I want to do that. But then we didn't really talk about speak about it much. But there was a slight chat with being able to ship your motor home to America. Yeah. Now that is right up my street. Obviously, three, yeah. four, five years down the line. Yeah, that's a saving and that's a proper uh, yeah, plan. Yeah, it's a proper plan. But, and I'd only ever do it for a long, I'm not doing it for a fly by one month or no. something. I mean, we did it for like two and a half weeks thereabouts. Yeah. Um, a couple of years ago, did a a fly drive trip over there and it was brilliant yeah if we'd have had our van with us that'd have been great to hire a van over there like a big rv was just daft daft yeah. daft money in fact the same money to hire a van is the cost to ship a van over to america wow so that's why you know it's just crazy. and then we could get visa for quite a while do you reckon yeah just apply for a tourist visa for up to 18 months oh 18 so. months tour mm -hmm. that would be yeah that's got to be in the books four or five years down the line. That would be something epic. Can you imagine the food, man? If <laughs> we just done a food tour of America. Oh. <laughs> We've come back. You know, what's that? What's in the... Just do all the Char challenges. Charlie and Chocolate Factory. You know that one that blows up? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We'd, come, we'd come back like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get yeah, when you go to... <laughs> Someone said, your new website seems to be more difficult to search for how-tos than your old website. That's because I never, ever, ever put how-to in my video's title. So if you want to look for how to install a solar panel, I appreciate the irony panel. there. Yeah. You just type in solar panel and then it'll come up with that. I uh, uh, see Tasha's got it. Violet Beauregard. <laughs> there you yeah. go. That's brilliant. That would be... Because there is some serious food out there, isn't there? Yeah. The barbecue... Oh, I love that. Love um, that. Favourite non van life related uh, channels is Colin Furs, uh, Peter McKinnon, Potato Jet. God, um, I have Peter McKinnon. Yep. Yeah, um, <laughs> who else do I really like at the moment? I forget his name now, but it's Harry Dyer, I think he's called. Um, uh, Griffin Hammond. Uh, it's quite a few. It's either related to totally random stuff or people that make films and stuff like that. So another yeah. one is uh, Thomas Heaton as well. Yeah. So. I don't watch YouTube. I do yoga with Adrienne though. <laughs> so if you want to do any yoga, then I recommend don't, her. Do you do a good job? I she, do not she, do yoga. John doesn't even do yoghurt. No. <laughs> I don't do anything with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I bet I can think of something. Mm. Does your new lifetime dry? Does your new Lifetime, I'm assuming most of them drive better than my Ambo on a muddy field, John says Kev. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, pretty much Kev, yeah. <laughs> Night, Scott. Night. Wow, we've been on for over an hour and a half. Where wow, we? because I've only just started. Yeah. We've still we've got 577 <laughs> people watching. Are you planning to go to the NEC Motorhome Show in October? No, because they've cancelled it. So yeah. apparently it's next year now it's been postponed yeah. too. You're literally going to hit up anything and everything. So when Quirky's back on, when the um, Shropshire, no, the what's the Peterborough one? Peterborough, what's the one that we did for Greg Sleeven do last year and it's on again this year? Stratford, oh, yeah, Stratford Overland. The show, Stratford yeah. Overland show will be there. Um, we had such a. I mean, I know everybody's been done it, been put off by, it, and, and obviously people dying you, you, you've got to take that into consideration and there's nothing you'd want to change but oh, 
we had such a wicked year going and it's such yeah. a shame it's going to be yeah. a while till it's all over if indeed we stop spiking enough for, for being able to do it all again but yeah yeah there's mm. Anything next year that would have happened this year will be there with bells on, we can't wait. Yeah. Someone's asked, just curious, if the money runs out from the house, are you expecting to go back to work? Uh, we're not using the money from the house sale because we didn't really make much money from the house sale. If you, watch, this morning yeah, if you watch our that. video for today, you'll you'll understand all about that. Um, so we are, um, I work still, so I'm still providing remote support services and consultancy services for what I do. And, and I'm a full-time dog mum. Yeah, Mandy's a full-time <laughs> dog mum. Um, but our running costs are so low um, that the money we saved up to do this trip, because we saved up originally um, to do it for between two to five years, so that money still sat there. And we haven't actually... Well, I've not touched mine. Have you touched yours? No, I've not no. touched mine. So with that money still sat there, and uh, should we... You managed to get that? through the slot machine today without touching mine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> slot machines. Two P machines. <laughs> But yeah, that couldn't be a more frugal way to live if the, the proverbial shit hit the fan. Yeah. Um, we would just simply cut down everything to a bare minimum, stop travelling around as much, that would reduce our costs. Stop eating expensive cheese, that would reduce our costs. And therefore, um, it still would be cheaper to live in the van um, than renting a house. Mm. So I've got a question here. Hi, Daz. If you were getting enough revenue from YouTube, etc., would you give up paid employment and create content and travel more? Um, I don't ever see I'm going to get enough from YouTube itself, but I'm, I'm looking at things. I wouldn't mind to try and set some things up or an online job kind of thing. Um, yeah, and I would like to travel full time. Yeah, that would be great. And I would definitely be able to create more content. And that's the bottleneck in my whole... It is, and that's thing. why we're I doing... Can film yeah, that's why we're doing the live stream on your channel right now. Yeah, isn't it? I can film and I can do all that, but the editing is the bottleneck for me because, because of work and everything. It's filming's you know you do the, you do the thing there and then you film it, but the actual editing can take hours upon yeah. hours upon hours. You can't just go ten minutes here, ten minutes there. It doesn't really work that, does it? No. You, 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 you get into get the into zone. It, yeah. So yeah, I'd love to do full time and then just travel and just find all the food places around the UK. Jim and Sue want to know what camera are we using right now? Right this minute. Right this minute. Right this minute it is a iPhone 7 Plus. And it's the selfie camera. Yeah. So it's not even it's the not best even camera. It's not even the best camera, no. So. But this is something that I was wondering whether we should do. But as we've done a video all about shit, to yeah. use the language, um, uh, so this is not a joke, but if you're a bigger guy and live in a motorhome or caravan, how can you have a decent poo? We only were only talking about this the other day, weren't we? We did. Um, yes, it's a, conf it's a confined space. I think yours probably a bit, a bit bigger than we've got because we've got that the shower and the toilet kind of come across yeah, to make yeah. a bit one space. One space is both spaces sort of thing. And yeah, I don't want to go into a, a lot of graphic detail, but I could do with a little bit more space when I'm going for a number two. But it's all right. I, Got but sometimes I'm just used to him pooping with the door open, basically. Is, but we do have an internal curtain. Yeah, we've got. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I can't see him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So mine's like a frame. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm alright in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because your bathroom's quite quite sizable. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, and and we were parked up the other day, and I had the door, bun the uh, hab door bungeed out, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to because my step's still broken. I didn't want to jump down to unbungee the doors and then use the toilet. Yeah. So I actually just closed my toilet door whilst yeah. I was in the toilet and still enough room. Oh, nice. So I don't have to have the door open. You're going you're gonna to have to start when... like hanging a sock on your door then yeah. so we know not to walk <laughs> yeah. in if you're going to. Yeah. 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 Yeah, well, we found out some interesting... When we got back today from our walk, we were soaked. And we found some interesting information. That is that when Daz goes into his van, most of the time, if it's like for the rest of the day... <laughs> He doesn't wear any clothes as he's walking around his van. He'd so. be naked, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bad day suit. Because just, I'm always usually in work clothes. So, you know, big cargoes, t shirt, boots, and you're in them for like 12, 14, 15 hours. Yeah. You just want to shed the shackles. Onesie, you mate. Leave your boxes Need a onesie. On. <laughs> or you, whatever your wife wants or whatever it is you wear, because you're a bit of a weird old man. All luggage must be stowed. 
you got to let it no, free as well, mate. No, all luggage must be stowed. You know that. You drive a motorhome. Everything must be stowed. <laughs> you don't want things just roaming around. So it doesn't squeak. Things get broken. <laughs> what are you doing with it if you're going to break it? <laughs> Swinging it around, like apparently. You'd like to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dear. So, uh, Lee, that went Lee, south. Lee Capel has asked uh, to say hi to his daughter, Miley. Hi, Miley. Hi, Hello, Miley. Miley. I uh, need to answer this one because I've forgotten three times now. Sorry, Bruce. Uh, the Sony ZV-1 V is proving to be one of the best cameras we've ever owned. Um, it is wide enough, despite the fact that it's 24mm. Obviously, it's not full frame either, so it's not really 24mm. But what but, comes very close? Um, yeah, I have to admit, a lot of our videos, and you may have noticed that a lot of our videos are shot on an iPhone 11 and an iPhone 10. Which I'm thinking of, you know, um, changing to. And I've just started to film this week, just because I didn't even remember <laughs> I had it. It was him that spotted it. And I um, can't do it! <laughs> on my iPhone 11 Pro Max, I can have picture-in-picture, picture, so I can record on the front camera, which is 4K, and any of the three lenses on the back camera, all at the same time, all recorded to separate files. Hashtag jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so it does mean that this week's video might be a little bit more interested in the way the angles <laughs> of the camera are because I've been playing with that a little bit more. You're welcome. Yeah. But yeah, ZV-1, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Tash just put he's doing the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I need bleach oh. now from my eyes. <laughs> We got oh, lift off! Oh no! Okay. Make it stop! <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark's asked if I'm having a bath. Um, I was never a bath person anyway, I was more of a shower person. Yeah, I so do. I'm fine, but John really does miss having a bath. I Can I tell a story about that? Go on. So, when I what actually. about bathing or women? Yeah, no, ba bath. Bath. <laughs> bath. Yeah. bath. A bath. Bath. Oh, Has it got an R in it? <laughs> Come on, Savannah, tell me how it is. We do feel sorry for him. B A T H. Bath. bath. Back. Right, Back. so I was going to uh, I was going on holiday, so I stopped at the um, the Premier Inn at Gat Gatwick Heathrow. Yeah, well, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, before I fly out, yeah, and they've got a bath. Bath, right? Uh, so I thought, oh, I haven't had one of them in about two years. Oh, so I run one of them. Way too hot first. I scolded myself. Oh no! And then when I finally get it right. I fell asleep in there, <laughs> <laughs> and then I woke up at like three a.m. Three freezing my knackers off, <laughs> and I was like, "I'm so cold." I'm so like cold. Like a prune was all your skin off. <laughs> oh, I'm so cold. I'm so oh, cold. No. And then I had to get in out of the bathroom, and then I had an aircon blasting. <laughs> so I was like, "Oh my god! Oh my god!" Ping! <laughs> <laughs> you could have cut crystal, oh. <laughs> not just glass, and then. <laughs> And then oh, I literally dear. had to get up about three hours later for for my flight. So yeah, that was after not having a bath for about two years. That's what happened. So it wasn't worth it then. Not really. No. <laughs> bath. See, Jill saying bathroom, bath. Hmm. Look, there's no R in it. No, no bath R. in it. Would you go to Sardinia? Yes, it's on our list. And yes, Meg and Cal are there right now. We have been watching their series. Yeah, it's go been watch absolutely brilliant. Flora and the, the Novice, Novice Explorers. Explorers. Yeah. Their video quality is absolutely brilliant. Oh, it is and immense. Meg and Cal, really funny, lovely people to watch as well. Yeah, yeah. And I watched they one are of them. going to some amazing locations right now. Yeah. I walked in uh, before we started this and they were playing on the uh, TV. Um, the first video I've seen of theirs. And it's proper epic quality isn't it it yeah. really is the production value is spot on and i've only just noticed bob went four, oh yeah bob four minutes ago bob you still there, you still bob? there bob yeah, bye. Bye. bye thanks for watching <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the entertainment dad's john and mandy uh john what is my employment background um oh a difficult one to kind of not think gives things away um he's a tech head yeah uh, electronics happening. systems and software engineer If money was no object, would you consider an incinerator toilet? Do they exist? Um, I'm not sure you could do that in a van. Incinerate stuff, because there'd be so much heat. Incinerator toilet. Mm. Burn my puppies. <laughs> Bruce has said, have you ever considered letting Tash telephone you and read out comments that you might find interesting? That's a good <laughs> idea. I could have like one little ear, ear phone in and have Tash 
taking the mickey out of my man now, cracks end because that's what I can see on the screen. I, I don't know how much power we've got because the ba battery bank stopped. Where's your bank? Right. Yeah, it's just at the top there. I don't know uh, where we're at. Yeah, power was. Oh, oh. Things, things may have see, moved. We've like not these, moved. Needs stowing. Just there in front of you. There, right? Just in case. Someone's asked if we've got any charcoal cheese. No, unfortunately. No, no charcoal cheese. No, we'll soon though. Put plug it all. Yeah, I'll do it, honey. Don't worry. Got any hair on it? Do you have press any ice cream? I'll press the button. Cool. Um, no. no. No ice cream. No ice cream. No, we actually missed out on that. Which was uh, when Tash and John joined us, they managed to save the day yeah. and brought us some um, uh, chocolate almond magnum things, Ooh, yeah, which was brilliant. Nice. Oh, CJ of Project Amber is live. He is, yeah, I just got it. I just got, as we're going live, it's popped up, CJ's live. Oh, oh, is never it? mind, we'll have to watch it. There we go. Play. I was going to say that so everyone goes. He says here, Jack's van, uh, he just put, uh, you had 640 viewers at one stage, mega. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's crazy. Still got 577. Tasha said, oh yeah, John, what's that app? John was talking about it. Which app? I don't know. I don't know. Um, Bruce, now there's no reason for a really posh camera going live because YouTube limits it to 720p at roughly um, 1500 kilobits per second bitrate as well. So honestly, there's just no point. Um, if I was to put my camera on right now, you'd see a slight difference. And if Daz turned his camera around so it was the rear facing camera, uh, then you'd see a, an ever so slight difference. Yeah. Um, but if you were to get the the most expensive, if you were to get something like a, a red or something like that and go live on a red and go live on an iPhone with the rear facing camera, you wouldn't really see a difference. There's no real point. So I think Tash has just answered the question about the incinerator. Okay. I wonder if she means a macerator. Oh, the macerator ones. I don't know how to spell it, but toilet where it breaks up the poo <laughs> That's right, yeah. like on a boat. So if Tash is like, yeah, Jill, enjoy your bath. <laughs> <laughs> bath. Yeah, the macerator just kind of um, minces it up so it can settle. And then, oh. and then you usually have an extractor fan which takes the moisture out so it dries it out as well. And you put sawdust and stuff in there so it can last a little bit longer. It'll be funny, but what are you eating if you need it to mince up? Well, rather than being fiber chunks, it's then leveled out. It's like mincemeat rather than sausages. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good for job anybody we interested, eating. for anybody interested, you know our video we're talking SH1T. If oh. you've not seen it, go check it out. Where we talk all about toilets and stuff like that. And then if, maybe at some time I'll let you know my poem I made to all oh, these. Oh yeah, the someone said they're about over two grand though. Yeah. But well, we're thinking of doing a follow-up call. We're taking the P exclamation mark five five, if you understand me. Um, so if you want us to do a follow-up video about all about number ones, um, then just type number one on the screen now. Yeah. And if enough of you want that, then, uh, we'll, do it. then we'll help you out. Because a lot of people do ask about toilet stuff because it is a bit of a subject where nobody actually talks about it in their daily vlogs or fan life videos or st stuff like that. It's very, very odd. It's something we all do, and in a van, you know, you want to be off grid for a few days. We'll look at all the number ones. <laughs> number one, <laughs> number ones are coming here. So yeah, it, it's as equally important in my view as getting fresh water is to empty your toilet of whatever nature it is. I don't mind if it's in a bag, a bucket, yeah. a cassette, or uh, whatever. But well, I think we yeah. got the answer on that, didn't you? Yeah. Number one, number one, number one, yeah. number one. Right. Mm. So we're gonna do our taking a piss video. Then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, cool. you said. Pss yeah. Someone said, said, "Do we have? Will we have the bus and bus debate?" But well, it's just a bus. Bus, isn't it? It's oh, a bus. Luke's on. Oh, hi, hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. Hey, buddy. Wow, how many watching? <laughs> That's what he's saying. <laughs> yeah, it's loads. Are any of you vegan? We eat vegan because our daughter's vegan, and yeah. grandson and, and son-in-law are vegan, so we do lots of bits of vegan food it's and, just and things. It's food to me, though. But yeah, it's just food. Food yeah. is food. I will be making a vegan chilli tomorrow and Daz is going to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> if and yeah, some, someone just mentioned Van City Van Life. So yeah, Chrome does love his poo bucket. And yes, we've just watched Damon and Beck as well. She kissed the toilet. That's the only time that it was ever <laughs> it's ever acceptable to kiss your toilet is when you're installing it. Unless you're shouting for Europe, don't it? But then you still don't kiss it. Mm. You inadvertently might do. Mm. <laughs> uh, if I was watching you on my TV, does it also count as a view? 
Yes. Yep. And uh, no Lucas Aid bottles. Lucas Aid bottles are pee bottles of the future. They're just pee bottles that haven't um, haven't uh, reached their yeah. um, potential. Potential yet, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Can you imagine if you didn't empty it out though, and you did leave a Lucas Aid bottle at the side of the road, which contained number one, and someone might think due to its colour. If anybody drinks any bottle left at the side of the road, then they're their own worst enemy, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, why on. would you do that? Just saying. <laughs> why would you do that? Hi, Mark. Are you guys on hookup tonight? Yes, we are. And we've got the heater on, the hot water on, everything's on charge, all the fans are on. <laughs> it's the first thing that John did when we came in. He's like, right, let's have hot water, let's get the heating on. It's just a little bit nippy. That. We've got the coffee machine on, we've got the, the ice maker <laughs> yeah. on, we, we use the instant pot. There's me. I didn't do anything. <laughs> it took me four hours until I put the fridge on. Rookie. Yeah. In nice. there. We don't we don't stay on site often enough. We're getting our money's worth. So Terry just asked a question. What celebrity would you welcome into your van and what celebrity would you not want into your van for a cup of tea? <laughs> um, what celebrity would I want to invite into my van? Oh, I don't know. Do you know what? I reckon you'd have a right old glass with David Jason. Oh, yeah, he'd be funny. Yeah, he'd be a right old laugh. David Attenborough. Or Love that maybe. guy. Ricky Gervais. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, if I, if yeah go really camping just, with Ricky Gervais. That's got a TV show written all over it. would literally it. just take the mickey out of everybody the did, whole time. Yeah. That'd be such that a that great Oh, line. we'd have to make him do the loo. <laughs> 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 uh, that would be epic. Steve Carell. Oh, yeah. Uh, who, wouldn't, who wouldn't you want, then? Which celebrity? Who wouldn't I want? Gordon oh, Ramsay. Any, any, no, no, I do Gordon Ramsay. It'd be all right. No, I'd just be swearing all the time. I couldn't film any of it. That would be great, because <laughs> I'd be... be, 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 be. <laughs> and, <laughs> no, that'd be all right. I think I could cook something half decent that he wouldn't really throw it out my head for. Yes, Tash. Peter Kay. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. You've got to have Peter Kay in your motor home. <laughs> Absolutely. That would be brilliant. No, I'd probably just say any of the, uh, like... Z-listers off them shows that are... Yeah. Like, um, Anything that's one yeah. of those, like, the Keeping Up With The Kardashians or... Yeah. Like, yeah. All of that or stuff. Or the, the Love on. Island kind of things. and the, yeah. yeah, I just can't deal with that, you know. Yeah, a lot of you are saying about Bob Earnshaw, the father of motorhome life. And Bob Earnshaw is absolutely brilliant, but yeah. there is one guy who's not around anymore, sadly. And I think, because you used to watch him on the motorhome channel on Sky TV or whatever it was... And um, what was he called now? We sort of put you on the spot now, died, don't we? didn't he? Because he, he built his own motorhome. Yeah. Um, and then um, he left it to Andy when yeah. he died, bless him. Yeah. Um, come on. John Wickersham. John Wickersham. I knew John, knew John. I knew yeah. Tasha'd get yeah. it. Sorry, I knew she'd get so, that. So I think John Wickersham and what's he called? Um, Andy... Harris. Andy Harris, yeah. Yeah, John Wickersham and Andy Harris used to be on the TV all the time talking about all the new motorhomes and modifications you make and fault finding and everything else. And John Wickersham used to do it in the back room of his house. Wow. So it's just like, it was like YouTube, but it, it was done by a Yeah, and they used to have like a half company. an hour slot or something, didn't yeah. they, on, so on a channel, you know, those Sky channels that change name after a certain time at night. It was one of those things. and But it was absolutely brilliant. But Andy... And John together on there, they were the best comedy duo. Honestly, you just yeah. fits a laughter. Brilliant, brilliant guys. And when we were in Tarifa, we we parked up, and Joseph and Greg and uh, we had those oh, those weirdos. Um, Amy and Bet were on the other side of the field. Alex Kite. It was like a YouTuber's convention. And then I see this guy with his phone out. Uh, just blogging away in the middle and I'm like who is he he's we just turned up in a car grey hair and his phone and he's chatting and, and he walks over and I'm like I know that face and I'm like you're off the telly <laughs> <laughs> and I went all oh, fangirl it was funny you did you <laughs> ran after him I did I ran after him for a selfie because I mean why wouldn't you Sandy Harris for God's sake what's this week's one pound meal man well I've not done one yet have I mm. don't tell them. <laughs> Tune in on Thursday. I've just said we're doing chili tomorrow, so <laughs> yeah. Tune in on Thursday to this That's week's brilliant. one pan meals. One pan man. One pan man. <laughs> yeah, I will be doing some more. I've got I've got loads that um 
that are in my, in my head and in the cupboards to do but then we are traveling with the wonderful dad who <laughs> also has cupboards full of food and then i'm like oh yes i'm going to do this smoked sausage pasta special thing and then he comes yeah but i've got fillet steak and i'm like i'm not eating pasta and sausage i'm eating <laughs> yeah. fillet steak mate <laughs> and that's how it goes down every day yeah it, really? we literally our main conversations mainly the nice conversations is so what we're we gonna do for dinner? What we're we gonna do for lunch? And how are we gonna and do? First thing in the morning, open the door. And, and we start we planning. We start planning meals, and we start planning today's meals, and then thinking, right. Well, so we do that today, but then we can pencil that in for tomorrow. <laughs> it's a proper schedule. Oh. Going to the blinking supermarket with these two. Oh. <laughs> we look at food. John looks at snacks. That's now, the way it normally I'm goes. I'm gonna say this right. Neo <laughs> in the Matrix. He looks at the Matrix, and he can see people and everything. Right? I walk down the aisles in the supermarket and I can see ones and zeros in green. These two can see meals coming out their eyes, like they're popping out like this. It's, it's called amazing. supermarket yeah. shopping. It's how it happens. It, and it is, it, yeah, it is really good. It works really well. Pennies. And the, yeah, these guys... Uh, yeah, you five euros for me, Dad. I'm, out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm unemployed now. Say, thanks, Declan, then. Uh, thank you yeah, very much, cheers, Declan. Declan. <laughs> Uh, no, it's funny though, cause um, cause it does tend to it does tend to go that way. But Dad is lovely, cause I normally do um a, a, a sixteen hour fasting, so yeah. I'll I won't eat. I mean, obviously tonight is a bit of an exception, um, but I normally don't eat uh, between eight o'clock at night and two o'clock in the afternoon, so I don't start eating until two. Yeah. So Dad has started having his main meal at two. Thankfully, yeah. his eating schedule's up the wall anyway. Yeah, yeah cause I'm a night driver, night. so I can go. You know. So, Woohoo to the unemployed! Says Dad. <laughs> Yay! Right. Wives unite. Here's one for you. What was your family's reactions when you told them that you're going to live in a van? Oh, well, my dad was made up. He'd won. He's been wanting to do this for so long to travel, and he he couldn't believe it. He was absolutely mate. He was like my, our biggest fan, wasn't he? Yeah. Out of everybody. Um, my dad. <laughs> can I say this? <laughs> Make it nice. Yeah. I can make it nice, okay. Yeah. Uh, my dad thought I was stupid that I'd lost my marbles and why would I want to live like a traveller from um, a country close to England? That's about as polite as I can put it. So, yeah, um, brothers you know, didn't really understand it. One sister did, In the other one didn't video we are called... Um, the G word. G, the G, yeah, the, yeah, the, G, the G, word. G word. My not gadget. No, no, not gadget. <laughs> Mine just thought I was off Morocco. But they know I do stupid, crazy stuff. He didn't say that he was off to Morocco, by the way. No, just... off Morocco. <laughs> off his ruddy rocker. Um, but, I mean, I've done things before. I've come back from holiday from Thailand, and then I just said, yeah, I'm going to sell everything and move there. I lived there for two years. Um, so it's not something abnormal, really, for me. So um, they still, when I turn up in their street, they say, oh, you're lowering the value of the street. <laughs> you put the house prices <laughs> down. Oh, look, there's a... There's a bag of poo bowl uh, parked in the street. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, they know that it suits me down to the ground. So, yeah. Yeah. and now, finally, my mum has actually stopped inviting me in the house. Oh, finally, right. right. And people are actually like, "You got your house to go to," and she yeah. actually says, "You've got your house to go to." Now. Right. So, because she's like, "Oh, you can stay in here if you want. You can stay in here if you want. You, know, you, you can pop in." And I'm like. I've got all my stuff out there, you know, it's, it's yeah. fine, I'm fine. Yeah. I think that's the biggest thing, isn't it? Yeah. That they, people, family members tend to think that all, you want to, all you're going to want to do is go back to a house. Yes. Um, and this is our house. This is where yeah. our, all our things are, and it's where yeah. we're comfortable. So there's the odd time that, you know, it, it's acceptable. Yeah, but more yeah, often yeah. than not, you just go park and see them, don't yeah. you? And then... I think the funniest thing, though, is that they all watch us. Yeah. So all our family and everything watch our videos. Yeah. Um, my dad and my mum, despite their weird and wild ideas about us doing this, they still watch our videos and then say, and when we ring them up at the moment because <laughs> we can't see them, oh, you went to some wonderful places, oh, I'd love to do that. And they always say, well, if you'd have lived in a van, you could do it. Yeah, though, I don't think that's good. The, the time for that has been and gone. Yeah, well, no, but if they'd have yeah. done it years ago. Yeah. 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 Uh, here we go. Bill Weir, evening guide, greetings from Switzerland. Uh, what are you using for a mic? Just the iPhone 7 Plus. Yeah. That's all we're using. I did actually get out. Yeah, we didn't plug it in, did my, we? My special little road mic for the iPhone, and then you didn't plug it in, so <laughs> no, Yeah, well, we had a bit of a palaver to start with. You did, did, didn't you? We did, didn't we? You did, didn't you? We did. 
<laughs> we're a collective team here, people. Uh, as a team. You don't, you don't need to run the bell then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's unfair. So Mr B said, Mandy, we remember you leaving your last day at work. Do you keep in touch with your old friends and what do they think of your adventures? Um, yep, yeah, there's a few people that um, follow on Instagram. Instagram seems to be the biggest thing. And also a few people that watch the videos. A lot of it, I didn't tell a lot of people about the videos. I worked for a cynical bunch, I must say. Um, but yeah, lots of texting. Um, and uh, once we can, um, a lot of um, big item meetups to uh, to catch up and see what's going on with work and me and, and all this stuff. I was there for 14 years, so, um, so yeah, uh, yes we do. Uh, someone said um, that they've heard about there being issues with the BIOS. Uh, the BIOS is the startup chip that knows all the information about the hardware and your computer as you start it up um, by using it on 12 volts. I have never heard that. Whoever's talking about that has bought the wrong stuff or the cheapest stuff. Uh, running a computer uh, is different than a laptop. So running a laptop off 12 volts well, your laptop, if you look at your power brick already, it isn't yeah. far off 12 volts. It may be 19 volts. Yeah, max, really. So, yeah, yeah it's nowhere and near... that'll be a gaming rig. Yeah, it's nowhere near kind of uh, what you would expect from 230. So running a laptop off 12 volts, very easy and very inexpensive. And it means that you can run your laptop charging for probably six times the amount that you could if you ran it through an inverter just because of the waste of power in the inverter and everything like that. So well worth doing it. So someone's just asked what's the email for any questions again. Is that for is that for John? If it is, you just go to our website, which is uh, gjot.uk, and go to the contact us page, and you'll see everything from there. Um, Daz's, if you want, Daz's is the urban dot com. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. And there's a contact page on there as well. Yeah. Uh, we've got one here. What's the trick with the Rode wireless mic to work with the iPhone? You just need the connector. Um, yeah, it's, it's got a, a built-in lightning oh, that, connector. No, that's the wireless he's talking about. Oh, the wireless one. The Rode wireless. Yeah, the Rode wireless one, um, you need either to get the TRRS lead to the um, transceiver yeah. that then goes into your little converter, Yeah. because obviously it's iPhone, so it doesn't have a 3.5mm sort, or you can just get a splitter that converts the iPhone little cable to TRRS into a mic and a headphone adapter and then use it that way. Oh, I think she's going to call us Ethel because she's just answered it. Oh, right, okay then. <laughs> she's probably going to call us Ethel. No, and yeah, there's John and Mandy on tour. She's answered the question for Derek as well. You see see my lovely Tash on the... Uh, uh, is there point. any way to run an iMac? Um, yeah, pure sine wave inverter, really. Yeah. Uh, needn't be a big one either for an iMac. I think they run it around They're about... 200 watts or something Quite like that. Power conservative. Yeah, so you can get a Best Tech Pure sine wave 300 watt inverter for maybe 50 quid, something like that. But obviously, you are going to have that downside issue of you are going to have a little bit of wasted power in there from taking 12 volts all the way up to 230 volts to deliver it in the back of the iMac when all the voltage in the back of the iMac is either 12 volts or 5 volts. So that's the downside, really. Sue says good night. She's off to bed. Trev's still here, though. Night, Sue. Night. Thank you. Night, night. Have you ever come across any bad feeling when you're parked up? Um, if you watch our videos from about a month back, John and Mandy on tour, then yeah. you'll find out all about that. So, but yeah. they were COVID related. Yeah. Um, before COVID related uh, things, no, not I've so not. Much. I've not yeah. experienced any, and I've done three years parking I mean, up. I'm just coming straight um, out after that this week. So far, it's been night and day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's literally switch has been turned. Now yeah. people are allowed out. Now people, everyone's allowed to do what they want. You know. And it's nice to chat with the other campers. Yeah. So obviously we were parked up the other night, at a, a basically an open field kind of car park for walking your dog, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then loads of other campers turned up at night, and they all left again during the day. And we're having a chat with some of them, and yeah. everyone's nice and friendly, and yeah, no issues at all. Everyone's happy to be out. Yeah. yeah. So it's either that the, the pubs are open, or they've been able to get a proper haircut, and everyone's happy. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. That's it. Yeah, someone said, without band life, you wouldn't have met Daz, and look what good friends you've all become. Yeah, that's, and that's true. one exactly. thing. Yeah, if we hadn't yeah, met Daz, true. we wouldn't have met Tash and John. Yeah. yeah life beyond bricks. We wouldn't have met Dave. Woman and his with it, and yeah, maybe yeah. and maybe Joe, and, that, yeah. um, and obviously Louis. 
Oh yeah, Louis is Louis, Louis is a star. star. Oh yeah. Um, the way he edits videos and oh, flies a drone and all that. I, mean, I missed a comment from Dave before. I said that Dave said that someone came up to Louis, said hi, took Louis's picture, and walked off without even <laughs> saying anything to Dave. Oh, so nice one. We have you met. know you made you know you made it when you're at that stage when Louis's at that stage. Yeah, I don't want to be a name dropper of 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 people who we've met because I'd go on forever and I would miss somebody out and everybody is equally important. But yeah. we have met life changing people. Yeah. All in in this change in our lives, it's yeah. been amazing. And if it wasn't for that. And YouTube, I suppose, we wouldn't have done it. Yeah, I know a lot of people that we know are from YouTube, but that's because uh, the awful part about it is, but as well as being van lifers, they're YouTubers as well, so you've got more in common with them, so they're more likely to be on the same level as us. Yeah. And either they've watched so. our videos when John's done his tutorial things, or we've watched theirs yeah. to get started and figure stuff out, because everybody starts by researching, and YouTube is the best research tool. Yeah. And it brings so many people together very quickly. And you start off like you've known people for years because some of it can be one-sided where people yeah. know everything about you. Yeah. We know little about um, them. We know little thing, about yeah. them, but then there's been times where there's been where we've known equal amounts yes. because we've watched each other's videos. And you, it's like jumping in to a three-year-old friendship and you're in there and you know yeah. all of the stuff. It's, it is just, it's absolutely brilliant. And I think Tash says it right. It's all meant to be. Yes. yes. It does feel that way. It yeah. feels like we are absolutely all mates that didn't know we were all around. Yeah, yeah definitely. Sort of 100%. And it's still quite weird because it's only, what, a year? So it was March, was it April? April, May. Camp, March, camp I think camp. it was, yeah. Yeah, March, March, March camp, 2019. Camp, yeah. Yeah. So, that's, so we're now in. It's a year and a little bit, yeah. Yeah, a year and a little bit. That's crazy, isn't it? Mm. It feels like years, mm. years, years, years. I, mean, I feel like we know all your family. Yeah, we've had chats it. about, and we smack yeah. talk with your mum. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. she's been sending us pictures of cakes today. We're sending Dad yeah. pictures of cakes. She's uh, she's on a funny one. At so the we sent her pictures of uh, the arcade machines of fish and chips. Yeah. That got her right where it hurts. <laughs> She loves the 2P machine. She'd remortgage her house for 2P machine. <laughs> if I had a house, I'd remortgage my house for 2P machine. <laughs> yes. Oh, I did just want to say, anybody who is a 2P machine lover, uh, yeah. I'm going to get myself wine. That's the only reason why I'm moving. They had those ones. Ooh. I don't know if you remember, it's like a conveyor belt that went back, sort of from the front to the back, and you used to have to put your 2Ps in it, and then you'd have to get them between the lines to, to win. Well, they had some different ones where they went from left to right and they had little obstacles in them and you had to Ooh, dodge your two peas yeah. from the front to the back and if you hit the back you could get special prizes and I was winning tickets and honestly John's like phoning me saying Monday I'm out because he's outside with you. <laughs> he's like <laughs> tracking it down man and I'm like be there in a minute. It's me trying to win a teddy as well didn't we? <laughs> awesome, but Scott Stadler just put it's great uh, it's community. just a great community it isn't is. it? So nice to see as a viewer. Yeah, yeah it really it is. Really it is. is a welcoming community yeah. completely. It's I mean, uh, I, I was watching CJ. When oh, look, my mum's on. on. Hey, hey, Monday! Cakes were really good. Um, excuse me, Amanda. Is it Amanda or Mandy? Yeah, Mandy. Amanda when she's, yeah. Oh, so oh, it's Amanda, so it's Amanda then. Yeah. Excuse, yeah. Me, excuse me, Amanda. <laughs> Where's my cinnamon rolls? Oh, I'll tell you. <laughs> Cakes were really good. Uh -huh. Fish and chip and two B machines were better. Yep. Someone asked, um, do you know of any other ways that you can create an income to live in your van online so you're on the road? And you've been having a good old think about yeah, this too, Yeah, I've been you? having a think about this. Um, I mean, I would say... I don't know where we should get it out there. Well, I don't know. I would say, first of all, to go and watch Kite Van Man, because Alex has put together quite a few different options of revenue streams from... Obviously, you know, writing books or writing um, interesting information about living in your van or how to build a van, um, all the way through to, I think some of his are based around gambling or the ability to earn money from signing up to gambling sites and stuff like that. I've not actually looked into that one because it's something I'm not au fait with as such. Um, there's services like Fiverr. I mean, yep. you know, if anyone's ever told you, oh, you've got, thank you, babe, you've got a great phone voice, then you might be able to do voiceover work. I did say, I did say they're the oh, ones yeah. that said apart from sex phone lines. No, not those. Someone said, no, no, someone said apart from that. Oh, apart right, from okay. Sex phone lines. Yeah, I mean, my logo was designed on Fiverr. Yeah. Um, you know, you can do article writing, you can do 
audio editing, you can edit videos, you can um, graphic designers. Yeah, you can design business cards. You know, there's so much digital stuff needed oh, these that days. Oh. That was close, girl. There's so much digital stuff needed these days. Fiverr, and that's uh, double R dot com. Yeah. Um, is amazing. I mean, you can do oh, designs for everything, really, isn't there? Yeah. So there is a lot of stuff. So, yeah, I mean, you just got to think outside the box, really, isn't you, a little bit? Yeah. You know? Well, you'd be surprised how many people that you probably watch on YouTube or, you know, watch an Instagram that are van life that do this kind of stuff. Yeah. It's easy because your outgoings are so small. To, and to do it I would say now would be the perfect time to start researching and researching and researching on the job sites because work from home has just taken a massive leap forward. Yeah. A epic, probably 10 year jump forward. Yeah. Because of what we've just gone through, companies are now going, Oh, oh, it is possible. It to does do work. X, y, People do work at home because they yeah. was always worried about are oh, they just going to sit there and watch TV and then yeah. eat toast and not yeah. do the work? Which I understand that, but they're making massive leaps forwards in the software they're going to be using yep. to make sure you're in front of your computer doing your job. Yeah, and you know that, that's a whole other issue, but they they can track that, and yeah, they had to adapt. So because businesses kept going, there's now I I, I was listening to the radio the other day. There's a whole uh, on the job site, I think it's Reed. Oh, yeah. Um, there's a section there for work at home jobs. Right. They're, they're, they're adapting and they've actually got sections now for the yeah. work at home. Well, I know a couple of van lifers who actually work in a call centre from the van. Oh, really? So two days a week, they park up, get the best signal they can. Yep. And then using the laptop and um, voice over IP, they oh, get wow. calls coming through. They've got a system they can log into, yeah. log people's details, sales, sales ordering, help, customer services, and they do all that. Wow. And those two days a week that they're doing that more than cover their costs for van life. That's brilliant. So, yeah. That is brilliant. So lots of possibilities. I'm down to 3%. Oh, and plug in down there. I need... Uh, cable. I ain't got the cable. There's one up there. Sorry, have you got one there? Yeah. You're in the gadget van, buddy. Cables everywhere. <laughs> yeah, cables, cables, cables everywhere. John cables and USB. Puts, just about puts these things away, don't you, honey? Easy. <laughs> Cheap shot. That was open goal. Where's the box? Uh, I was down here. Oh, we're finished now, then. Are you packing me up? Just for now. All oh, right, okay. I'll put the lid on this then. Oh. When someone's asked about the ice box, that's our new ice box that we stole from Darren. <laughs> I bought two just because I found a good deal. <laughs> They're the uh, the old school Coleman's flip lid. I we used to have one as... How cool is that yeah, though? Yeah, I used to have one as my lunchbox at school when I was a kid. And they're so good. So now we've got ice machines. We can fill these with ice and then keep the ice in the inside. we just got Someone to try and work said. on getting the ice machine to work on the uh, Power Oak power banks. So then when we go to a meetup, yeah. we can just have a nice machine outside, That'd just churning ice out for anybody that needs any. Uh, Tyler Lewis, do we have a van tour video? Yes, we do. It's on our channel from about um, probably two months ago. So John and Mandy on tour, uh, and then just type in uh, Burstner and the tour video will come up. Uh, somebody else has asked, and this is a bit of an opposing view you're gonna get now, quite good. Okay. Uh, which tablet would you suggest? Me, I would suggest going with uh, the Samsung Galaxy Tab. S2. S yeah, well, mine's the S2, but any of the S series, yeah. the, the premium tab. And I bought uh, the, an S2 from yeah. my mum, so it's, yeah. it's a good one. Yeah, I mean, it's still running. I mean, they're on S6 now, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, and it's still well, running perfectly money, fine. Then. Oh, yeah, perfect value for money. And I've had three of them because I broke three of them. And we're in the Apple ecosystem because of software and editing and stuff like that. Um, so I bought um, two used um, iPad Air 2s because they're for nothing money on eBay used. Yep. Um, and they're still brilliant, still great running everything yeah. as well. So. I, I just like the fact that I've got an, one Apple like, phone and one Android so then I can do it whatever I need to do Yeah. between the two. But yeah, perfect. Ta I, I really advocate tablets as TVs oh, yeah. and everything. You know. We were saying the other day, someone was asking us, oh, it's those couple we met. Yes. Um, they were in a van that was just like our old van. 
and they were yeah. talking about which TV should we get and how much TV power it uses and that. Yeah. And I was saying that because they had the, the top cupboards like we've got and we had in our last van, what we used to do with the folio case is put the back of the folio case up the inside of the cupboard. Yeah, like that. And then kind of, yeah, close it down. And then if you lie in bed or whatever, you're still looking at a screen, the sound's all right, and you can stream everything from a hotspot on your phone. Yeah. Even live TV, you can stream most of that these days. I'll well, be honest, so. I've got my TV in the motorhome. home. I've, I know I've just installed a new TV aerial, but that was just because, just in case. Um, I don't use it. I use this. Mm. I really do. Use this for everything. We use the cello telly for everything in the back now. I mean, obviously, yeah. we've got the different one in the front here, but it's it's one of the best tellies we've ever had in a van, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's amazing, good, yeah. that thing. Uh, someone's asked, are there any disabled, uh, <laughs> excuse me, are there any disabled van lifers? Um, and yes, I've seen a few on Instagram. Um, I've helped yeah. a couple of them out there trying to design a van and a power. Uh, and that was, um, the guy was in a wheelchair. Um, he'd had adaptations to be able to drive the van, but it was a case of getting in and out and the space inside and stuff like that. So yeah. I don't know about many on YouTube, but I would imagine no. they probably are. And if you go to these shows, there are usually a few uh, dealers there, aren't there? Yeah, yeah. they will do, even do lifts and things the, at the, the side the, of the van. The, some of them are absolutely amazing the, inside the way. Yeah, the way they've done mm -hmm. it. The way they've done it, yeah. And yeah. I suppose it depends on the di disability itself. Yeah. There's somebody parked in the in the disabled bays um, at the site we're at now, yeah. um, which are normally put right by the toilet block. Um, and um, another woman had some sticks when she was out before, and hers just looked like a standard, a standard van. I suppose it depends on the disability and how much extra room you need. So. Yeah, and um, a really good resource if you can get hold of him because he's really busy is Project Amber because CJ used to work at a motorhome company that would buy in brand new motorhomes and convert them for anybody yeah. with any disability and that. So he knows all the uh, the stuff on that one. Uh, another one, John, the Wi-Fi router on your website um, is last year's model, it's no longer exists. If you go to our website, so GJOT slash motorhome, you'll see a list of everything in our motorhome. So you want to know what telly we've got, what fan we use, what we feed Cooper, um, stuff that Mandy uses for cooking, anything like that, including the Wi-Fi router for the van, is all listed there. So that's GJOT.UK slash motorhome, and you'll find the Wi-Fi router that I'm using now and it's linked in there. Another quick tech question, because this is what I got. Uh, can you recommend a used MacBook, please, i.e. model and where from, a minimum requirement for vlogging, please? Um, I usually find them off, like I gave yeah, you I an example. I got one from eBay. 500 quid-ish. Yep. Um, and it's the 2012 version of the uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch with an i7 processor. Yep. Try and get something with at least eight gig of RAM with an SSD hard drive, and that'll be enough for editing vlogs at 1080 HD. And it really does work perfectly with, especially with Final Cut Pro. Yeah. Final Cut Pro is... Oh, it's the business, is yeah. The mint. mint. I've been running mint. YouTube too long. Mint, mate. It's mint. There's <laughs> another one as well. John, how many hours per week do or per month do you still work? And do you have to attend an office or any circumstances, or does this affect your travelling? Um, I run my own business, so uh, I don't have to attend any of my customers' offices. If I absolutely had to, uh, in person, then it's easy for me to do, just travel to them. Otherwise, I've got people I can choose to go and be my hands and eyes on site, so I can actually do stuff like that. And I roughly do, mm, on average, I'd say about three hours a week work. Just got to Sounds say. about right. If you included that, just answering emails as well as work work, then I'd say that would be uh, maybe significantly a bit more. more. Yeah. Yeah. Goopy! Uh, yeah, answering emails is a lot of the things I do yeah. so a lot of the time. So, yeah, but it's sitting in front of a computer or on the phone, I would say three or four hours a week. If you include emails, three or four hours a day. So, but I fit that in wherever I can. Scott Sander, that's it. I've got over the two hour mark. I'm off to bed now, for real. Good night, everyone. Thanks. <laughs> Have a great <laughs> week. Well, yeah, Cheers, Mark. Two and a half hours, uh, aren't we? Scott. Two hours, Mark. Two hours, yeah. Mark. Scott. Yeah. Cheers, Scott. <laughs> and uh, Ian said, my two dogs, so Paul, uh, Brian and Darren, Oh yeah. sat with their legs crossed waiting for their walk, wondering why, <laughs> why Ian's watching telly instead. We'll still be here, no problem, Ian. Take them up. And then we've got one here from, a greeting from Banjul, the Gambia. I'm oh, an wow. Englishman living in a van here for four years now. 
Nice one. Nice. We've been full time since December last year, so we've not been uh, we've not been as long as Daz as far as uh, full time has been concerned. No, but you've done uh, loads of. Yeah, well, we've been out and about for yeah, we've twenty been, years in caravans, yeah. camper vans, and motorhomes. Yeah. So yeah, and Jack. no, John's uh, bottle doesn't explode because he drinks, and although sometimes he no. does make a big Squeak. poppy squeaky noise. Yeah. Have you seen what Jack's just said? Memory back. Fla yeah, flashback. Flash yeah. 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 Last year in July, projecting Ash Pollard's video on the side of his van in a field. Yeah, that was. Yeah, cool. and he made toasties. Oh, that was a cool meal. That. So that, and then and then Jack's van life slowly became Toasty Jack, although there is also someone called yeah. Toasty Jack, which makes it really confusing. Yes. But Jack's van life is the real Toasty Jack because yeah. my goodness, can that man make a toasty? Toasties, yeah. Tash is proper trolling me Look now. At, I saw. I just noticed that Tash. I've not noticed not it before. <laughs> She's trolling me. Ooh, Mr. Pinky. Little Pinky drink. She's trolling me. Someone's just asked if we've got a portable fire pit. Yes, it's yeah. on gjot.uk slash motorhome. Doggy's thirsty. Doggy's thirsty, yeah. <laughs> Definitely a sticker there somewhere. Filming dog takes a drink. Oh, just where's Cooper? There he is. <laughs> There's Coop. Coopy, what's that there? Is it? What's going on? Oh, yeah. What's yeah. that? Oh, is it Coopy? Yeah. He's doing it. You're on the telly? He's doing it. Don't get the like, cheese. He's like, no I don't cheese. care. Don't get the don't cheese. cheese. Oh, oh, he's going. He's going. Oh, see ya. Uh, just, uh, just been watching your tour. How do you cook in that little oven? You mean the microwave? Toaster. <laughs> toaster. The toaster. Oh. I'm going to ask Mandy this one. What's the best mm -hmm. thing and the worst thing about being on YouTube? Um. Ooh, I know my thing, answers. The best thing is the people that we've met. Because of that. And as weird as it is, when things went a bit bad uh, during the, uh, the start of lockdown, there were thousands and thousands of people that emailed in, and I've yeah. never felt so lifted in my entire life. It yeah, that was wonderful. Amazing. And yeah. I'll always, every single person, I mean, I do go back and read some of them because I've just never had so many people who have never met me, you know, they've just seen me on YouTube say such wonderful things to help me and and that was wonderful in itself and the worst thing is that john doesn't tell me that my hair's messy before he starts picking me <laughs> i'm getting better at that so i have something stuck in my teeth and my hair's all over the place and he's like but it doesn't bother me and it's like but it's going on youtube you know it gets ten thousand people watching it for goodness sake so yes so what's yours no you go on all right so the best thing of mine is yeah m the people uh, that meeting amazing people and the opportunities it's presented like as in meeting more people and right. going like, i went on the cat zero boat yeah that wouldn't have happened if i wasn't doing this youtube thing um that was amazing and then just meeting more things and more opportunities are you know in the pipeline and you know things are happening all the time and then they wouldn't happen because of without that mm. um the worst thing i would say is trying to keep up and do more Right. I, I, I want to do more and I keep wanting to do more. I keep wanting to do more. And people want to know as much. And rightfully so. And I, I'm not d slating it in any way. They want to know more. They want more videos. They want more content, which I'm ever so grateful for. But I just mm. can't keep up. That's 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 the, my eternal struggle of trying yeah. to keep up. You've been trolled again. No, who by? I don't understand the Savannah accent. What do you use for editing videos? <laughs> <laughs> Final Cut Pro. That's Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro. Yeah. There you go. Oh, Jack, Dave, we're on. Hi, guys. My friend of Andwellers. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, mine would be, I love YouTube for the fact that I like um, to fix things and help people. Yep. And I can't believe that the videos I make to say, listen, I've done this, that then people go out and do that or they adapt it and then maybe they make videos to show they've done it yeah. that helps other people because they did it in a different van or in a different yep. slight way. I love that bit. The worst bit is people with an opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, yeah. Cause or the, a nasty opinion that share that. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Pe the people that think that it's all right just to go out there and yeah. say whatever they want about people because they feel like they're 
able to do that. That's the worst part, really. But. Yeah, but I think you know the community is amazing, and yeah. that that goes to show when um, we put a video out, a few videos out about Jock. Yes, and the community and the just went and help. Yeah, and they just they just sorted it. Up. They just yeah. They, yeah, he set him up, and that was it. He was, you know, really put him on his feet, really, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. like that. North Devon Motorhomer, it's not a proper video unless Cooper's having a drink. <laughs> there you go. No, yeah. I can't believe how many how long are we into this? We've still got five hundred people. Five hundred and twenty-six. Two and a half hours. We've got to go see my voice is going. <laughs> yeah, I know. Your voice is going. I've gone way, I'm gone drinking way past my fasting time, honestly. Oh, oh it's brilliant. What's uh here we go. Yeah, if you like the name Martha and the Van Dwellers. Go have a look at the van, it's absolutely brilliant. It's really literally like van. a zebra. It is. <laughs> Over two and a half hours we've been going. I know. I think it was I think it was a an NHS testing like a mobile testing thing at oh, first. Yeah. And it because it's got like the big the big bus doors at Double the back that the open back out. It, yeah. It's so cool. Yeah. Oh Bruce, I met Jock in Portsmouth. Nice chap. Ah. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. See right there. That's the that's things. That's exactly that's it. That's exactly it, because Bruce wouldn't have met Jock without the YouTube. Yeah, without Jock writing to me to say. Yeah, and then you. Is this all right? I oh, send it, it to, to me, you and think. Me getting yeah. right bummed out. Yeah. <laughs> Making <laughs> a Sunday. really bad video. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, the whole circle going through. Yeah, that's it in a in a nutshell there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, no, we're not doing a 24 hour stream. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine that? See, the last time we did no. something, no, I think it was Luke's when, when yeah. Luke had, um, what's it called, that a streaming thing? A oh, stream yard. A stream yeah. yard. And that there was... must have been like six people coming on and off and on and off, and it was a right laugh. Six and we got about six, in, six and a half but hours in. I mean, it was people, during lockdown. Some people actually re watched that, though, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. Oh, six <laughs> But then the funny thing after that was that straight after that, the boonies were on it with us as well. The boondockers, I should say. Um, they were on it with us as well. And we just pipped them to the post for, as, as far as we know, they had the longest live stream. Mm. So they were like, right, go it's on it. now. Yeah, so yeah. they did another one. And then I think they beat us by another 45 minutes or something after that. So they call it at seven hours, though. That's a day's work, isn't it? It is. Not that I know that anymore. Extreme suds. It's but, uh, sub... sub um. Sucks. You need to do a day in the life series. Well, our vlogs kind of are. Yeah. If you watch our videos, that we you know, we cut out the mundane stuff. Yeah. Um, but there's cooking in there. There's us going for a walk. Yeah. You know, we don't. I don't suppose we don't yeah. show f filling up. But you've done that. You've covered. Yeah, I've done that. Filling yeah. the LPG and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I've stuff. done that. Yeah, and, in, and we've talked about toilets and individual stuff. videos, but. I've got something coming. I'm not going to announce it right now, but I've got something coming. So stay tuned, and it's going to come soon. So yeah. No, so as we're on a cheese thing, yes. anybody that's still remaining, we're still 496 people. What is your favourite cheese? Yes. And how yeah, do you, need, need what's your favourite cheese, and list. how do you eat it? So oh yeah. You've seen yeah, what we've got. It, yeah. So we've got the cheddars and cambodola and stuff. I know people are saying winterdale and cranberry is a good thing. So what is your favourite cheese, and how do you eat it? Oh, and has anyone eaten that cheese that's in France and Italy? Oh, it's Sardinia with the maggots in. With the maggots in. Oh, yeah. Has one. anyone, anyone eaten that or tried it? Look, Camper Van Gaz is on. Hi, guys. Hello. Because I want to try that. No cruelty to animals, but well, the yeah. maggots are going to get yeah. it. Should we just... I I said I'd have a go. You two know more about the meat. Do you want to just explain what it is? So, yeah, basically, they get a wheel of cheese. They take clean eggs, fly eggs, 100% uh, clean, not round poo or anything like that, and they put them inside the wheel of the cheese, and then they hatch inside. I'm sorry if this grosses people out. They hatch inside, so then all their, their whole life exists. They eat cheese, poop cheese, eat cheese, poop cheese. Um, and then basically you crack the... The wheel open and then the cheese is really soft and meant to have a real unique taste to it and then you just put it on bread with the maggots still in wiggly, it wiggly, wiggly. and then you just eat i mean john's just not going near that not in the slightest no. mandy mentions what's it called koopy loo how the coffee yeah the or... coffee yeah that's poop coffee beans pooped no. out by and there's, there's some something things yeah. out there you know <laughs> let let's say for example if they well, took i think with... uh, tash is going 
You go and see him. Right. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you very, Thank much. You very much. Thank you very much. Thanks, you Spanner admin. Uh, well, Spanner <laughs> admin. Thanks, <laughs> Spanner. <laughs> trash Spanner. Spanner um, trash. Yeah, I think there's things out there that are great. So sort of uh, mixing what I'm drinking right now with whiskey and cheese, they take, you know, s barrels that have been for beer or whiskey or whatever and then they make something else in it mm. so you get that flavor from the barrel and stuff like that i don't mind infusions like that <laughs> but to put living creatures or to poop things through a living creature <laughs> no no but you'll eat gammon which is a pig yeah but it's not living still is it <laughs> Yeah, that cheese has got living that, that, things that still in it. That coffee's not got living anything on it. They've been no. roasted after they've been pooped. But it's been pooped. Yeah, but they've been roasted. Nah. <laughs> right, so does cheesecake count? Yes. Yes. Because it's cheese. Yes. And I miss cheesecake, so well done for that one. Oh, yeah. Stilton with port. Stilton and rice crackers. Any particular yeah. rice crackers? Salted? Sweet chilli? Um, got to go on Bursty for the loop. Oops, sorry. Any good soft blue? Yeah. Um, still non digestive. You see, I've got the digestive now because I love Wednesday Dale and Cranberry on a digestive biscuit. I really like the salty sweet thing. Yeah, for that's that. quite nice. Smoked applewood. Yeah, now you're talking. Applewood's nice. Yeah. Gorgonzola. Oh. oh. <laughs> or, or, or equally, uh, Roquefort on toast. Yeah, a long cross and Stilton with a Melton Mulberry. Pork pie. Oh, I love Melton Moby pork pies. Why haven't we tried bacon brie? What? There's bacon brie. Bacon brie? brie? Yeah. So no, where do we, bacon things, brie? Bacon where do we find these? All in the same one. Yeah. Mexican hot with smoky cheese melted on a crumpet. Whoa. Canadian strong, Stilton, grilled off fried halloumi. <laughs> baby belly is perfectly all right for adults. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. Do you know what, baby bell, if you get a, like a burger... Yeah, and like you're making homemade burgers, put a baby bell in, in the, the middle. Oh yeah, yeah. Mandy yeah. used to do it like ch finely chop and mix it in, yeah. so your burger would have like little like yeah, exploding yeah. cheese bites in it. Mm, 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 mm. Crumbly cheddar, Hafford, or Welsh cheddar. Oh, I think we've had that at that pub. Yeah. When we the, the night we sold the house. Yeah, the um, what do they call it? Cheese on toast, but it's called rare bit, rare Welsh rare bit. Yeah, I'm going to chum with this on this cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no maggots. Oh, yeah, cheese on biscuits. We've not even had cheese on biscuits. So normally, I'll go for the soup, the purple, the super extra mature cheddar um, on some just digestive biscuits. Yeah, my mum just put Montgomery cheddar. That's a beautiful cheddar. Oh, I've yeah. had that. Stitchelton uh, Stilter. Still. Uh -huh. Stitchelton Stilton and Cheddar from Cheddar Gorge, which we've got oh, some there. Like cheddar from oh, cheddar yeah. Gorge. Cheers, Mum. Cheddar yeah. cheese on toast with a dollop of Worcester sauce. Stilton. Strong cheddar with tomatoes. We've got to go to uh, to Borough Market. Absolutely got to go to Borough Market. And Neil's Yard. Neil's Yard, the cheese. Uh, Neil's cheese Yard, shop. I, get, I get my essential oils from Neil's Yard. Really? Or is that a different one? It must be a different one. Hmm. It's Neil's Yard, you go in there and all it is is just cages and, and walls. Of cut. It's bare walls, so it's cold. Yeah. In central London, of just wheels and wheels and wheels of cheese. Ooh. And you tell them what you're liking, and they've got a cheese of every kind of sort. Oh. And, yeah. And then you go to Borough Market, and you've got the hot salt beef. Oh. Like big burgers, uh, big, big, like, massive... Um, Sandwiches, hot salt. We didn't buy beef. Sorry, we need to do beef in the, <laughs> in the do, instant pot. Oh, yeah. I'll have to get some of The best cheese is the one that makes you smile. <laughs> oh, that's cheese. Warm camembert with French, fresh French stick. That's John's favourite. Yep. Love me some camembert. Which is really weird because camembert before it's cooked is the stinkiest cheese ever. It's proper sweaty. But cooked, amazing. Someone said cambazola. Got me Cambazola here, thick sliced on a garlic cracker. Ha, uh, garlic uh, shallow depths put uh, halfod is expensive, thirty pound a kilo in Borough Market, but I like it. Oh, now that's the same as that Compt. I think that's thirty six, thirty seven pound a kilo. Uh, no, per hundred. I think it might be per hundred to gram. <laughs> per hundred grams. Wow. And it is something else. I'm not sure if it's hundred grams or two hundred grams. Um, just a quick side one. 
Since watching Darren's vids, I've wanted to go on YouTube. Any hints, tips, or tricks? Just do it. Just, just do, do it. it. Yeah. yeah. Just do it. Just Your first videos, you'll look back on yeah. them and you'll think, my yeah. goodness, they're rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. They won't be because everyone has to start somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. But just once you start, you just will get better. Just record as well. Just re keep recording. Yeah. Keep recording. And, and keep it. everything that you record. Keep it all because you yeah, never you know when you're going to need to go yeah. back, and you'll never go and you can use the footage you've not used before again. Yeah. And um, yeah. A little hint for talking to the camera is pretend the people behind the camera are your best mates and and it'll just make you more at ease. So that's my advice. Yeah. Camper vibe, cheese and pineapple on them little sticks. No, 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 oh, no. Oh, well, I like cheese. Do you want some pineapple to go with your cheese, Dad? No, 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 I literally no, no, sliced no, no, it before no. we started. Where did you get your Coleman cooler box from? eBay, wasn't it? eBay. Yeah. Yeah, eBay. It's a Coleman cooler. Yeah, it's a flip lid. Oh yeah, the Coleman flip lid. <laughs> that is very cool. The lid does flip over, and it's got um, little recesses to to like yeah, sit your cans, put your drinks, drinks on. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah really it holds cool. six cans. Do cheesy quavers count? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Cheesy anything. Uh, sometimes what we actually get is some. Um, I won't mention the brand, but chili heat wave. Um, you know. Dip. Nachos. Nachos, yep. Yeah. And then Mandy makes some special beer cheese sauce. It's the standard, is it Asda's cheese sauce granules or something like that? But you put some oh, beer Oh, Asda's stuff in. cheese sauce in a, in a tub like the gravy granules. Yeah. They make the cheesiest cheese sauce, yeah. but you don't make it with uh, water, you make it with beer. So if yeah. it says to put like 280 ml of water in, no, 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 no. Beer no. or cider. Oh, yes, cider. Warm that up too. in a pan first yeah. and chuck, chuck the, in. the granules in, then loads of whatever kind of cheese. Last time we had the stinkiest cheese and I made cheese sauce, I literally got the stinkiest of the cheeses yeah. and put all of that, that in. That was nice. Yeah, that, that, oh, that was actually really good, that. Yeah. Mm. Barrow Market is a place to go near Christmas, my mum said. It absolutely is. Oh, the food actually, that you yeah. can eat over there is unreal. Really is. Some of, and if you go to um, Camden as well. Oh, yeah, Camden Market's good oh, for cheese. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, but it's great for sweets and everything now. Oh, yeah. The amount of stuff. That, there's, a, there's a cereal bar. A cereal bar bar? Yes. Yeah. No, cereal bar shop. <laughs> you can go and have a bowl of cereal. We had a Great. cereal day once. A cereal day? Yeah, so we ate nothing but cereals. Did we call watching, it a cereal cereal day? Yeah, watching nothing but series <laughs> on TV. And we had every, we went to the shops the day before. Every meal was cereal. Every type of cereal out there. And then just <laughs> ate cereal all day. Brilliant. <laughs> Cheesy Dorito, Doritos, mine and Poppy's favourite. That's from Shane. Nice one, Shane. Um, Bruce, really? Oh, helmet cheese. Oh. Oh. Any plans to go abroad? Yeah, after Bruce's comment, I'm going now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Philadelphia on toast. Watching from Japan. Hello, Japan. Isn't Hello. It? It's getting close to being um, tomorrow Early hours now, of the morning now, yeah. I should think, yeah. I can't believe how many people are still watching. I know. This is Someone's just... obviously just watched our tour video. The way the toilet, the shower room is set up is wicked. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> it is clever. Yeah. Wallace and Gromit cheese, yeah. <laughs> Toasted bread with Wookie Hole cheddar and Worcester sauce. Wookie Hole. Mm. You've got to go to Wookie Hole. That's just what don't, she said. Just don't go to, like, walk up the top and I fell down the stairs. Oh. Yeah, because, like... I had a, this was when I used to carry a big old uh, camera with a tripod and all the photography gear. And it was a massive, low-pro traveller backpack, so it like, covers the whole of your back. Yeah. So we've gone up to this, at Wookie Holders, uh, you've got the mountains and all that. You can go up these stairs to look at this monument, ruin, or whatever it is at the top. Yeah. So when they're coming down, it's like raining, and these stairs, they're the, like the oldie country stairs so they're like very small okay you know and there's stone and all that <laughs> and i slipped and I, I made a joke of like oh if i slip i was gonna be like temping bowling me just knocking everyone down and, but i boom, slipped boom, 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 boom. and i must have gone down about eight to ten steps but i slipped on the backpack oh with all you <laughs> yeah the backpack Ooh. i just rid the backpack down Ooh. and i was lucky that my mum and my brothers and that were not looking at me that time the because they would have wet themselves. They just turned around and saw me in a heap. <laughs> but everything was all right. 
and my I, that backpack saved me. Yeah. Proper saved me. Yeah. Was all your gear all right? Yeah, it was all right. All right Didn't survive other times so. though. See, feta, feta was missed. I like feta. I like a good old Greek oh. salad. Jacob's Ladder. Yeah, so I've just seen someone just said that. Oh, it's your mum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so funny. Never laugh so much. Yeah. She don't troll me much, does she? Did you get some video, please? Send it to us. <laughs> Hang on a she, she had to have you with the son. She, she's earned the right to she troll me. Trolls me. me. <laughs> trolls me. Oh. oh. So, Bruce, Bruce said... He never said how much he somebody else did. Oh, right, okay. He oh. was just saying it, so we'll let you It's all right, it's okay. right. Watching from Nigeria. Oh. That's crazy. Oh, there's a, a, a funny little story. One of my mates from school, um, unfortunately, he, um, he passed away earlier on this year. Um, but he, um, he was a vicar. And um, him and his husband uh, set off, who both vicars, um, were set off in a T6 or T5, T5 didn't they? T5 it was, yeah. Um, called v- and they, they did a pilot TV show called Vickers in a Van. And one of the things that always had me absolutely laughing my head off is they were going on about packing. The, sorry, the, I got to see the preview. He showed it me before he mm. went live. And um, they were packing the van up. And um, his, his husband turns around and says, have we got everything? Are you sure we've got everything? And he turned around and said, well, don't forget the baby cheeses. And there were baby bells in the packet. <laughs> the baby cheeses and the vicars. Honestly, I laughed and laughed. And oh. I don't know what. I don't think it actually went anywhere. That it was one. Funny. But oh, funny the, show, it yeah. was funny from start to finish. Dave was such a wonderful guy. Daz, so, yeah. what are you drinking? I'm drinking Copperberg mixed fruit. Yeah, Copperberg mixed fruit cider. Probably my first and last bottle. <laughs> Someone's watching from the moon. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, me. So, uh, do you go in the caves at Wookie Hole? Yeah, you go in there, and there's a whole tour all around, and you see all the uh, like the is it stag stagnites? Stalagmites and st- yeah. Stalagmites and stalagmites. Yeah, yeah where they drip up, up down and yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, and and they've got lights in there and all that. You want. Like yeah, some of the some of the stuff in there it looks amazing. Definitely worth a visit. So Tim says, oh Tim was at the um, the boonies, wasn't he? he? Says still using your old pans in the auto fail. Is that when you were selling all your stuff off? Was that guy Tim that came over was talking to us? He had the no, same van as us. Is that a different guy? I think so. Yeah. Sorry, Tim. Black pudding and cheddar cheese. Oh yeah. Oh. Black pudding and cheddar cheese. Yes. No, Bruce. Never met them. Uh, King in it. Oh. Well, I'm thinking that we've maybe reached our peak. I'm still yeah. reading. you got to get to the bottom of the thing. <laughs> I've, we do I've reached the bottom. <laughs> yeah. It is still going mad, but it is... I mean, we are doing a long stream here. Yeah, and it's now quarter past ten. Oh, we've got to end it somewhere, <laughs> babe. <laughs> it's crazy. We've still got to tidy up yet. Yeah? See, it's funny, we've got someone to us that don't answer any questions at all. Someone yeah. said, really poor quality tonight, can't it's stand buffering. the buffering. And everyone else is saying, no buffering, There's no, no buffering. buffering, it's fine. Yeah. Message loading. Surely that's not a problem on our end, is it? <laughs> no. Now, My 10-year-old no. son just walked in the room and said, uh, said, are you, what are you watching? That's what she that's said. That's what she said. Hey. <laughs> yes. Are we going to call it then? Yes, yeah, we I should. think we should. Yeah. That's yep. nearly nearly um, three hours. <laughs> That's quite a, quite a life, and we've had a lot of people on here. Yeah, yes. it's been brilliant. Yeah. Thank you everybody so thank who you stayed for all so of this much. time. Yeah, and thanks for popping in if you've just popped in. And I hope you enjoyed your cheese as much as we <laughs> enjoyed this cheese because that's been nice too. Brilliant. Yeah. So we'll all have some more videos coming out soon, won't we? So yes. uh, look forward to them, and we. Uh, we shall see you soon. Yeah. Absolutely. Take, Take care, care guys. Have a thanks. great time. See you soon. See you soon Bye. Bye. Bye.